welcome to a D&D game with us, Hat Films. Hello! Oh, right. It's happening, it's the beginning, this is just the very beginning, this is the recorded episode, the first sort of episode zero we did to check that this is even feasible. Um, we've been setting up cameras and lights all day, and uh, today we're gonna try and record the first few hours of gameplay in this world I've kind of thought up. The world itself is a place called the Thousand Teeth Isles, or the, it's an archipelago of uh, sort of Caribbean-inspired islands. Um, there's thousands of them, as the name uh, says. We're focused around a sort of select few at the moment, but uh, it's, it's a place where civilizations from all over this world, from large continents off across great seas, uh, come to find fortune, magic, lots of strange and wonderful new things. It's being colonized and civilized at a very quick rate, um, but it's still a very much a, a frontier uh, and a, a new sort of wild, wild environment for our, our, our characters to explore. Now we're going to introduce these three characters. Ross, who are you playing? I am playing the character Titus Zebedee. Um, yeah. That is, that yeah, is yeah, me. That's a good um, name. Let me just bring up my thing. I'm a Triton wizard. Wizard! So I'll be using, I'll be uh, conjuring things and using my hands and a staff. What's a Triton? I don't fully understand. What is a Triton, Smith? You know all these things. A merfolk. Triton are basically like mermaid people. Yeah, yes. you you um, you come from a noble family that literally, in, in my mind, owns a plot of land on the seabed. Of course. And like that's your estate. And occasionally you come to land to, to find other things that you can't find at the bottom of the sea. Um, and I'm from royalty. Well, you're a, I'm you're from a noble. Highborn. You're very, very high-born. You're I'm maybe high like two-thirds removed from the from the royal crust. family of the yeah. sea, of the ocean, of well, the part of the ocean you came from. It's a big place. There's many royal families. Um, but yeah, you are um, a noble uppity wizard um, who's who's come originally to the Gold Tooth Isle to find favor and fortune. I, I don't know about you, but it sounds as though you may have been a fifth or sixth son of the family. I think I've been made to go out on my own and, and do my own thing. Right. And not rely on... Papa's cash. <laughs> exactly. So, um, but I still have, uh, I've come from that wealth, so um, maybe that's where my attitude will lean towards. Now, Chris Trot, who are you playing? Uh, I'm playing Sword, which is like the weapon without the W. And I'm playing a Hobgoblin. And if you don't know what a Hobgoblin is, it's a big red goblin. <laughs> <laughs> They're a lot stronger than the average goblin. Uh, my one is an Artificer, and that in D&D terms means I create my spells through like vials and alchemical products which I actually throw at, thing, at uh, enemies rather than conjuring those spells myself. Uh, and as a hobgoblin, I'm a bit short-tempered, a bit angry, and I like to fight. And I was ex-military. And I've got a big old scar on the side of my head, and I'm not going to explain why right now. I'm going to make fun of it. No. I wouldn't. And finally, a, um, I mean, Ross has not played a huge amount of D&D, but another <laughs> Uh, newbie we've got here, Craig. Uh, who's your character? First timer. Uh, my character is Kipipi, but he has a stage name. Oh, he does. Okay. Uh, his stage name is Sticky Mickey. Sticky, Sticky Mickey, Mickey, nice. Sticky Mickey. Mickey. Because he is a, uh, he's a turtle bard, and he... Uh, a turtle man. Turtle man, yeah. 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 <laughs> Musician, and he goes on tour around, it used to be with his band, but uh, unfortunately, uh, he's had to go solo recently. Why is that? Um, what happened? Well, we're about to go, uh, you know, on tour, get on the ship, go around all the islands and stuff, yeah. touring. And, uh, you know, one of the band members really got got sick with st some stuff that was going around. So right. I decided to just go solo. Yeah. And uh, so... God, imagine what that's like. Oh, yeah, that right. is crazy. Right. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so Kipipi, yeah. Sticky Mickey, he's Sticky just Mickey, been going around yeah. like the local taverns, pubs, you know, uh, festivals. Lovely. Just wow. around, you know, just playing just some music on some his little drums. He, get, he gets some good gigs. Yeah, he's trying to make it big. Not just tavern crawling then. Not no. just tavern. Any, anywhere there's a celebration, okay. you know, a, a local fate maybe. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, you know, just trying to go around and just earn his keep. Pub to pub, you know, just uh, maybe he, he gets paid by just staying in the inns that he's he, well, he's a capable guy as well, right? He hasn't just, he's not just a musician. He's got lots of other skills. He's, he's, he seems like a uh, very charismatic individual. Um, he, and he is I'm, very charismatic, yeah. I'm sure we're all very interested to, to meet him. Uh, so this campaign is sort of somewhere between a mix between Pirates of the Caribbean meets Lord of the Rings meets Warhammer meets European general history. Seven Shades uh, of Grey, it, it, right? Uh, seven, seven Shades, shades of Grey. What about 50? 
Well, there's there's 57 in this world. Oh, um, I can only see seven. You can only see seven. <laughs> My character can only see Real seven. Real narrow cone. Yeah. He's dark vision in the daytime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, that, that's loosely what this this is going to be about. I'm just going to get into this now. Um, but essentially, we hope you enjoy this this bizarre piratey world. Um, so I need to give you guys some things. Uh, oh, first of all, physical handouts. Here's this. Oh, Don't open that? it. It's Don't open light. it. It's like a Christmas cracker. I'm open. Don't it. open it. He says no, but Don't open you can it. show what it looks like. In, in that. Uh, we have a little camera here. It's just up. a piece of wrapped paper. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's not that impressive. Oh, look at that. What could it be? I can't see it what from here. What could it be? Your characters met each other on the Gold Tooth Isle. That okay. is the sort of hub town, hub city of this area of the chain of islands. There's many, many islands, like I've said, many hundreds of islands in the archipelago, but this is the one that most people come to first. This is one of the first ones that was colonized, and this is generally where people find their way throughout the isles. Um, now, when you were here, you met each other. Uh, now, would you like to just briefly explain how you met each other? I know that Titus said you... Oh, yeah. How did you run into Sword? So when I came to the Gold Tooth Isle... Yeah. Um, I stumbled across a uh, young folk gentleman here. Are you I young? actually look really like <coughs> grizzled yeah. and like I've seen I've got a yeah. dead cold stare yeah. and a, a huge scar. I don't know where you got the young thing well, from. Well, I, I, <laughs> from the back I look quite he's young. A young yeah, man. I strode straight up to him, tapped him on the shoulder, said, "I'll buy you for three gold um, as a servant." And I punched him in the face. He punched me in the face. Yeah. Uh, and I immediately realized that that wasn't the best way to meet people. But I respected his tenacity. Mm, right. And at that moment I thought, and that, that's where we got the contract. Yeah. Shortly after that. Well, um, where, didn't, you, didn't you guys, I hear you went to a gig and... Well, yeah, we stumbled into a Mickey, bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And this guy was... He was playing. I, I'd done, you know, one hell of a gig that night. Really? You know, Were there I many had... people in the bar? Were there many people? Yeah, there was at least like eight or nine people really? still there yeah. by the end. Yeah. Yeah. Including yeah. these two. Small place. Yeah. yeah. That's Max. It's, it's cramped in there. Cozy. Very, yeah. very And afterwards, yeah. you know, I just went to the bar. These two, you know, they really loved the show. Yeah. So they bought we me We started drink. exchanging pleasant. I was talking about my life in the military. Yeah. And how cool it is to like kill things all the time and punch people in the face. And I think that took your interest. It's like, you've never done that before, right? I've never done that before. And so. you were like, oh, you've always made songs about it. I've but, always made songs about it. But he's never done it. I've never done it. <laughs> Perfect. I want to experience something different. Perfect. So you guys came together and you said, right, we need to find some work. Luckily for you, in the gold tooth aisle, there are information brokers. There are people offering contracts for all sorts of things. There's no real sort of organized militia or police. So a lot of the time, adventurers and mercenaries are hired on by rich folk um, who've set up previously in the area to retrieve things from them. Now you are one of these bands. So what's happened is you have accepted a contract um, from uh, none other than Mikkel Salgo. Mikkel Salgo is a rich adventurer. He's famous. He's known in, in the area for finding some of the best new islands. He finds all these sort of amazing temples and tombs and he always comes back with some of the best magical items. Whilst he was out, he left it, he docked his ship, the Fat Duck, okay? This is what the Fat Duck looks like. Oh, Whoa. wow. Yeah, There's a panel. It spins. <laughs> <laughs> a revealing oh. panel. Yeah, it's a rotating <laughs> there panel. There it is. Also, here's one that I also abandoned earlier because I thought it looked ridiculous. It looks like a crappy ad for a pub. <laughs> Uh, so, so that's. Um, I think I've, I think Sticky Mickey's the played duck. there. <laughs> the fat duck. Did the, you just like? Yes. Yeah. You painted the edges out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bit of a rush job that one. That's Perfect. why I didn't use it. Okay. That's, yeah. That yeah, one's really. Yeah. Good. That one's a bit better. Let's isn't focus it? on that one. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. So this is the ship you're going to be looking for. Okay. Right. This is the fat duck. This has he, is. Has he got like a really realistic drawing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys. I mean, well, it's a magic drawing. I mean, right. you know, this oh, oh, Mikkel right. Mikkel Salgo. He's put up ads all over town. He said wanted my ship it got taken from me and you find out it was stolen right it was stolen by uh, this this horrible he doesn't know the name of him he knows roughly what he looks like um it was stolen whilst he was out raiding a tomb right so he's out there looking through stuff nicking that not nicking taking acquiring um and he comes back to his ship arms full of treasure it's not there it's gone and he's got word that his ship has been sighted docked at none other than docker's bay right oh. Now, Docker's Bay. That's a good Bay place to dock some ships, isn't it? It's yeah. a great it place. A if you're Bay, going between, um, you know, hub towns and, and other, you know, the other great continents of the world, Docker's Bay is sort of your last, your gas stop, your last stop before heading off into the wide open ocean. So, that is where you find yourself. It's like a horseshoe-shaped island, um, surrounded at the tips. by ridge. Yeah, there's a, one entrance into the bay, which pr produ uh, provides excellent cover for all the ships sheltering What's there. What's the name of that called? What? In sea terms. What? Oh, well, it's a contained 
a massive water encapsulated around a crescent-shaped island. Do you know this, or you want you want you want an answer? I actually to this? would like to know. I don't oh, okay, know. right. I mean, a cove or a bay. Like it's a, like a cove. Yeah. 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 It's it's yeah. it's basically a protective bit of landmass that protects it from the wider open sea. <laughs> so you're actually going to love something else I made for you, then, Christopher. This is. Oh, a no. cheat sheet oh. of all the different kind of ships oh, you might see. Just out like there. the one on your screen there. It is there just like go, the one on my screen here. So the kind of ship you're looking for is a caravel. Okay, a caravel oh. is what the fat duck is. It's got three sails on it, in a, like looks cheap. Well, guys, it looks a bit like the giant image I gave you. It looks of, a lot of, like that. Of it. But the yeah. sails aren't up in that one, so well, it no. can't be that one. So it can't be. I guess you gotta <laughs> keep looking. Anyway, to move this on. Um, <laughs> You are on, you're on Dockers Bay, okay? Let, yep. You've got there, you yep. went out on the ship, you got passage there, and you've well, been laying low, oh, look at that. looking you. for leads, trying to work out who exactly this might be, uh, and, and, and that's where I'm going to set you up right now. Can so, I um, retroactively yes. summarize the conversation we had in that tavern when we first met? I regale stories of military time and like yep. how much I stab people. Oh. I want to make that really clear. Yeah, A lot of stabbing. A lot. We get drinks in. Um, that's why I'm down to very little money, um, but I, I buy some rounds because you know what? Uh, I haven't been around my comrades for a while because they all died. Right. So I stabbed them all. Right, right. Yeah, right I, got, I, I got really angry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, there was a point where we noticed that sign, that illusionary sign, just not stapled, but obviously mm. magically infused to a, a oh, post in the middle of the tavern. Yeah, yeah. And it's like that. There it is. There is. It's like, well, if you want an actual adventure, boys, if you want to get out of your stuffy. Yeah. Noble aristocratic oh, goldfish bowl or whatever so it's big, called. It's big. And you want to get out of the band and actually no. do some stuff. Well, yeah, but I still you want to quit that band and get out. You want to stop music altogether. I don't want to stop music well, altogether. You want to stop music. Really I, just, sing I just, you know, all the best songs are songs from the heart. I need inspiration. You want, you want yeah. real that's experience what I need for my next album. Mm. Well, why, you, why don't we take that job then? And that's why I point yeah. at that and yeah. then. Right, so I've got here, could PP stopping music permanently forever? Yeah, he's quit the band. Right, right. Well, not, so not forever. <laughs> yeah. he, he's out. He's, he's, he's taking the time out. Yeah. He's doing the solo, solo yeah. run. It's not a very good solo. Um, okay. he's rolling you, for it I'm rolling for your inspiration? No, you don't have any inspiration right now. No musical oh. inspiration. So you All set right. out <laughs> and set on, on, on this, on this uh, great little uh, sort of ship. Uh, it's, it carries a lot of people. It's more of a people transport. So it's, it's more like crashes? a ship of the line, would you say? Well, that's a huge ship. But yeah, 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 yeah really why big. not? You, you, you what go about out. Man of war? That's a big ship. You, you, you hitch a ride on a ship of the line, which is going out across a oh. great sea. Okay, God, over to one of big. the great continents to the northeast. As it comes close to Dockers Bay, it anchors about half a mile away because it's too shallow because it's a giant ship. It has to dock a long way out. You get on little rowboats and they row you into Dockers Bay. Okay, you climb up over the mountains, you come in from the back, over through the hills, and you've spent some time in a tiny little tavern. Dockers Bay is, has sprung up quickly. It's in a great position, geographically speaking. It's great for ships, um, and like I say, it's sort of the last point be before people head out into the not Atlantic, to the northeast. Not uh, Atlantic. Uh, yeah, um, now, in, in, in this bay, there are lots of sort of tents on the beach. There are more permanent structures further up into the hillside. So it's sort of like, um, it's like the caldera of a volcano, okay? Imagine that, it's, it's now a flooded volcano almost. So there's some big steep shelving mountains all around it. Uh, and your, your tavern is sort of built into one of the, the sides of the hills. So the, the, the town sort of flows down the side of the hill. And as you approach the beach, you've got the dockyard, a couple of big dock buildings where they process a lot of the goods. Um, and then quite a few sort of tents and semi-permanent structures erected all around there from people running makeshift operations. Uh, now, you step out of this tiny tavern. It's a pleasantly cool night with bright stars and a full moon. Tell you what, tonight, quite pleasantly cool. Please don't stab me. Oh, there's a full moon. I'm not going to stab you. I don't know when you're in the mood to stab. I made that quite clear. I don't know when he's in the, the mood. Boat right here. Oh, I can stab you right now. You've always got a knife on I actually don't have a knife, otherwise I would have. Oh, <laughs> the fresh right. sea air blows in from the east through the mouth of the whip. village harbour walls. <laughs> it tickles the tips of your daggers. High silvery oh, dagger. clouds, <laughs> God, God. High silvery clouds <laughs> drift it. across the open sky above a dark, inky harbour. It's about midnight. The warm ambient glow and noise from the tavern slips back behind the curtain behind you. You a low thumping on the table and a dirge of an accordion can be heard seeping out the last tunes as it closes out the evening set at the bar. Uh, built onto a steep hill on the inside of the curve of the horseshoe-shaped island, the tavern is part of a small town that has grown up quickly to fill the shores and hills of Dockers Bay. The island is less than a mile long, and it takes you only a few minutes down straight, steep gravel paths to get down to the harbour, which you do. <laughs> I'm, 
<laughs> this is this is okay. the expediency. Okay, uh, yeah. You um, you as you approach the harbour, you can see head height torches, tiki torches. Um, That's a health safety hazard. It is head away. height torches lighting How the water. How do you think I got this? From tiki the tiki torches. torches. <laughs> yeah, head height tiki torches. Oh, Are you about stumbles. five foot though? I recoil <laughs> visually, like you can see that I'm shaking next to these tiki torches. He doesn't like Stand fire. in the middle. Stay in the middle. He I'm just going like to hover behind your shelf. How, if you don't mind. How deep are they into the ground? What? Are they just really? They're, they're mounted on a walkway, so they, so they're you can't a just grab them. You, they're, they're like stuck. It, like right. you could grab I one. Just wanna know. I just Do you want to snap snap one off? Like basically, imagine long piers and walkways made of, of of logs and wood. You can still see ripples in the water from the incoming tide coming in through the mouth of the of the bay, kind of tickling at the the edges of the ropes of some of the ships there. Uh, there aren't many ships docked at the moment. There's a few small fishing ships. There's a couple of other sort of small to mid-sized trading ships. There is one large ship that you reckon you think you might recognise, and that is a uh, sort of 50, 60 metres uh, down the harbour. It's quite quiet at the moment. There aren't many people around in the distance. There's a few people loading uh, and unloading some of the smaller ships. There's a fisherman, fisherman coming in with sort of some of their catch from that evening. Octopus and fish and all kinds of strange shells and urchins and things like that are going to be then reshipped from here off to, the, to feed people all across the Thousand Teeth Islands. Lads, let's just sit on this crate right here a sec. Let's just discuss something, but don't look too dodgy about it. Why would we be dodgy about it? Well, we're about to steal a ship. I shouldn't have said that yeah. so loud. Let's think about this a second, right? There's a ship that we're going to steal for a guy. We're going to steal a ship? Do I keep it down? Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Jeez. What's your name? Sticky Which one? Mick. Sticky the big Mick. one. Sticky Mickey. Sticky Mickey. Sticky Mickey, Mickey of course. Sorry. We just met. Is that because of the hands? No, it's because of the drumsticks. Oh, right. Because I've got these. Do you, the you see these drums? You see these drums around my waist? Yeah. yeah. Like oh, I see them. No, I see them. They're like turtle shells. Oh, yeah, I see them. Isn't that a bit weird? I just thought you had clammy right. hands. Well, no. Because you are a turtle. It is, but it's, it's quite are nice, they really. related to you. They are indeed, yeah. See, as a turtle, my, uh, my parents only last for a year after they give birth to me. It's the way it goes. In your... It's the way it goes in turtles. They give birth. You uh, live for a year to teach your young everything, and then you die. Oh, so right. they are the shells yeah. of my well, those uh, family. Those shells are dramatically smaller than you are. They're yeah, really well, small. Also, have you thought of becoming a they father? They had him young. Sorry, they, they had him very, very young. Very young. young. And also, yeah. you haven't given birth yet, so you just got. No. You've got to full size. So it's kind of like a. Uh, I'd like to, you know, obviously have kids. You, you but will, but obviously, you know the that then means that You're I'm going to end gonna up die. as a drum. Short I'm going to die yeah, and end up as a drum around their waist. So, but I will be added to this family collection. It's like a family tree almost. Oh right. But of turtle shells. So there's my granddad. Yeah. There's my nana. And there's my mum, dad. Yeah. Great, great granddad's around here. You're going to have yeah. a full circle drum kit at some point. At some point, family. at some, some point, family. my grandchildren will have. That's nice. Isn't right. It? That's, That's nice to know. Yeah. Anyway, we've gone on a bit he's of a tangent. He's saying it very nicely, <laughs> but it's actually a horror f horrifying thing that he's done. Well, yeah, he's got the. Uh, he's drumming on the back of his. He's got the exoskeleton of his, uh, the corpse of his family. Yeah, yeah. and okay. he's drumming on him. He's it's a bit on. weird. Okay. Anyway, let's uh, let's hone in you on the. You see a man approaching you. It's it's a sort of grumpy, pointy-eared looking man, and he, I think, is a half orc. Um, now, he approaches you out of the gloom. Um, he looks like he's quite officious. He's got quite a nice sort of jacket and robe on. He looks like he has a couple of little badges of office. He walks up and he's like, Evening, lads. It's a yeah. midnight stroll, is it? No, a midnight sit on a crate, actually. You don't seem to be doing much sitting. I'm sat, sat on a crate. I'm, I'm sat on a he's crate. He's sat on a crate. Oh, I'm apologize. stood up because I'm quite tall. You don't seem to be doing much sitting. But I'm not. I'm, I'm stood up. Have Fair you got enough. a problem what, with... what are you doing? I'm just practicing my drums. Sorry, have you got any sort of authority here or anything? Yeah, I'm the Arbor Master. Yeah, prove it. Well, I'll show him a seal of... Um, I honestly don't know the credentials. You can't recognise the credentials, exactly. Uh, looks, looks you, legit. you have to decide. He's legit. Yeah. Yeah. He I think, yeah. Yeah. He's I'm the Arbor Master in these parts. I've been uh, running Dockers Bay for the last four or five years. Uh, I'll make sure I keep an eye on everything that comes in and out of the bay. Oh, uh, so you know the, the ins and outs. The ins and outs, if you will, yeah. Every ship coming in and out? Most of them. What about today? Oh, now you're testing me. Do you remember the ship we well, came yeah, in what on? Happened? No, I don't actually. How'd you get here? It's that one over there. Where? I pointed that ship. That <laughs> 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 ship? <laughs> oh, you came in on that one, did you? Yeah. Who was the captain? Oh, Him. Got to be I'm the captain. The turtle. Captain Big guy. No, that doesn't make any sense. I met the captain. What do you mean you met the captain? Bill Drap Bob. Bill Drap Bob? 
Bill oh, Trent Bob. Not the con artist. The yeah, con artist no, himself, yeah. I don't know where he's got this new ship from. It's lovely, though. Would you believe that you could have possibly been conned by him? He is a well, con it's artist. not my job to know when I've been conned and when yeah, I haven't been conned. Did he show you credentials? Did he show you credentials? Yeah, he, well, he, well paid, he paid me the Arbor Masters fee. Oh, he paid him. Guys, he paid him. He Which paid. That's where my fee went. Yeah, huh? yeah, there it is. It's the Harbour Master. Every captain is required to pay uh, the Harbour Master a fee. It's for the maintenance of, of the harbour. You think these things build themselves? Yeah, that bastard. Well, then he's paying us for us. Yeah, he stole That's it good, off me. That's where my coin's gone missing. What? Are you saying he stole your fee or he you stole your ship? He's not a very Both. good. He's not a good con man. Oh, how do I know that you you own the ship? You got a bill of sale? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna like rummage through. Uh, yeah. I bring Titus's out a, pack. I have a little bag of sand. Titus. Uh, Titus is. And I have parchment. One okay. sheet. Okay. Actually, I have quantity of ten. So I flash the parchment. There you go. What more do you need? Wait. So that was just a piece of parchment. Just a you blank them. piece of parchment. Do yeah. a persuasion roll. <laughs> you got to beat him. I got a seven. He doesn't believe you. I can't. Whoa, whoa. What's your persuasion bonus? <laughs> Let's get a zero. 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 Wow. <laughs> okay. He goes. What was that? Parchment. That's our credentials. Captain's. Uh, no, no, no. That was a blank piece of paper with, I think, a pocket of sand. Good quality parchment. It was good quality it was parchment. Good, high quality. Do you trade in parchment? Is that what you're here? What brings you to Dockers Bay? For entertainment troops, yeah, some, yeah. so to speak. He oh, does, you're yeah. entertainers. Yeah, this yeah. guy can play songs. He won't. Uh, I sing. He stopped, on, his, he stopped it, his music a while ago. Give it, keep it quiet. It's midnight. Obviously, people are sleeping around it. There's a guy literally about 15 feet from you. You can see his feet it's poking out of just on. a tent. Right. Like a beach tent. You know? <laughs> I'll keep it down. Keep it, down, keep it down, down, but go on. What have you got then? All right. Do I have a thing where I sure I saw a thing where I can like convince people with songs or something? Like yeah, look in your features oh, and traits. He's a bard, so he has things like this. Yeah, yep. so you can be charmed. A wisdom throw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you got to do the performance first. Yeah. All right. What do you do? Yeah, we've only heard him once. What song it's is an it? hour long performance. By the way, you can <laughs> choose three creatures that watched it. So you could also choose these two. Yeah, we can and be charmed could. as well. Yeah. All right. Well, if, I'm going to do it, and you're all going to be charmed okay. then, and yeah. believe us three. But I'm, I'm trying to persuade him that you're the the the, the captain. Well, yeah. That's what my song was all about. All right, so you're, oh, okay. you're, you're doing is, an improv song on the spot. Yeah, about this is this is called Captain Song. <laughs> oh, right. How okay. he's definitely the captain. And I also have it some bagpipes. It. It on me. It so, so, which instruments are you playing for Captain I'm, Song? I st it starts off with like a Phil Collins. Do -dun, do -dun, do -dun, do -dun, do -dun. So quiet. <laughs> bagpipes. Yeah. He's the captain of that ship over there. Yes. <laughs> I have so a loot good. in here somewhere as well. You've got, got loads. Of, by the way, he does actually have about eight or nine inf inf I, inf I inf instruments. I literally do. He's a tall one man. Just yeah. strapped into his shell. This goes on for about an hour. An and hour? Have you, have you got time for that? It's yeah. a saga. It's, it's, yeah, but they're captivated. Yeah. On this finishing song, like the last few minutes, can I lift him up a little bit? Oh, you can levitate me. You can, yeah. Can, well, can I, or him. Can you get the tiki torches well, yeah, for some like, like pyros? Take it as a threat, though. Get the tiki torches, make it... Put, like, I want some pyrotechnics for this. You want some pyrotechnics? I mean, I don't know what I can do. Give me three constitution checks. Yes. So How do I do that? So, D20. Get yeah, a D20. D20. Get your fancy D20. This one? The yeah. remade, yeah. Rihanna made this. Now you roll it, and then... Sorry, she made the dice. Yeah. yeah. So are we sure it's competition grade? <coughs> yeah. Are you sure those are all the same flat size? It's sides? weighted to 20. It's very okay. melted on one side. So, um, roll, and then you add your constitution modifier. I'll help you once you've rolled this. Mm. So you roll that first. Roll the dice. You got a 19. Yeah. Very good. 19 okay. plus wow, your, that's really your con good. modifier? That's con is up here. Plus Big. two. Big plus two. So that's 21. So the first 20 minutes of your performance, they're going great. You're hitting every note. Oh. It's incredible. You're, you're energized do, 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 almost do, do, by the music. It's all a tear to his one tear duck Okay, they've the all gathered around. A few other people. The guy 15 feet away out of his tent, he's, poked his, he's rotated the way that he's lying in his tent now. So his head's out and he's just like... I'm almost starting to believe I genuinely am the captain of this ship. Well, maybe. Right, well, there we go. That's All right, give me another constitution <laughs> modifier. This confidence. Another roll. I have to go again. Is this every, you're playing for an hour, it's Craig. Three That's part, exhausting. So this three is every 20 minutes. Yeah. Time, yeah, the energy involved. Like, this one's got to be good because it's got to be a... Oh, oh it's, a it's a three. three. It's a three. Second. Second. It's a three. It's five. five. So that's... Middle of the act's not gone. You're, oh. you're starting to flag now. I'm you're feeling them. it. I'm losing it. You're losing the audience a bit. The guy in the tent's flipped around again. So now it's just his feet and his head I break out the old Freddie Mercury interval bit. Dale! And then... Dale! Right, <laughs> quite a few people <laughs> from the nearby <laughs> buildings have come down. Yeah, yeah, uh, there's like so. a big crowd now. Everyone's like, oh, is that Sticky Mickey? Yeah, I've yeah. heard of him. 
Okay. Do they know Sticky Mickey? No. Or is he? Is that all in no. his head? That's me saying it. You guys love me, don't you, Ooh. Sticky? Ooh. I'm Sticky. 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 You could use presentation to create noises uh, I can create and cheers noises, and can. sounds. Um, I can throw my voice or whatever it is. You can. What's the prestigious... Prestigitation. Yeah. I'm going to get a few people around the back whispering about uh, Sticky Mickey. Oh, Amazing. He's really good. I, I, loved, I heard him in the tavern once. He's really, really good. Woo! They're clapping. Where are these noises coming from? Oh my there. God, I can't There's, there's, there's only eight people in the crowd, by the way. Like, yeah. they're, they're, like, it, it's not dense enough, but yeah. this is what you're hearing. I'm going to tell everyone about him. It's just like, there is. Yeah, they're all hearing it. Like, yeah. where is that coming from? But it's me just throwing my voice. Right, one more roll then with advantage because of just the amount of effort everyone's going to to really sell this What's the advantage mean? You mean to get roll, roll it, twice it twice and choose the highest value. Yeah, just, just for the, the audience. Pick the that biggest was. number, yeah. Just for the audience. He's so talented. Nine. That's okay. a nine. Roll one again. Roll. Oh, 18. 18. 18 plus two. You pass. Well done. Very now. good. Thank big, you. Very good numbers. You did the crescendo. You want to say what you did? The big crescendo, big bring finish, up, big crowd surf. Yep. There's only eight of them there, and I'm quite a big turtle, really, so it didn't really go as well. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't realize, but I'm helping him. Oh, <laughs> you're doing I'm the I don't know if I have to roll for that. I don't I'm know what, what are you trying to do. What if I levitate him? You yeah. want to use levitate on yeah. him? Yeah. You can't. Um, they are quite precious, those spell slots, Ross. Oh, really? You can use levitate. Yeah. Well, you I don't want to waste it. You only get them back when you complete a long rest, which is eight hours of sleep. Oh, but it's nearly night. It's nearly night time already. Oh. That's not how it works. You still got to sleep for eight hours. <laughs> that's not how it works. Uh, well, when it becomes okay, day, I'll let him try and surf it then. I, I thought I could just, I thought I could just like, lift it. Just use a press. I would advise just use press digitation. Okay, and, press you know, you've done enough. You've done sure. a great job. I you've done what, all of his pyrotechnics. All my limits I'm guessing this. maybe have you the got a couple of one over. Yep. No, I'm part of the crowd now. I'm right. Just oh, you're just in the crowd. I can do a shower of sparks as well. I think that's all. That's pretty good. Okay. Very nice. I need you guys to do a DC 13 wisdom save. You two. Oh, as if we're captivated by this. Big John Brown who's the name of the harbour master, failed his wisdom check. He's now charmed by you for an hour. I got three, yeah. Yeah, I'm really into You're this. You're charmed now? I'm super by, uh, charmed I can be, by uh, this. Sticky Mickey for an hour? Ooh, 15. 15? So, um, yeah, Ro uh, Titus, you passed. Nice. Um, so everyone believes that Trotsley, uh, sorry. Both Sword, Sword and Big John We're Brown, the harbour master. Do I just show him your credentials again? Yeah, you can. That's that's awesome. much, in that's the pack. Hey, are, mate. Roll oh. to persuade. <laughs> Two rolls. Is this D20? Yep. <laughs> so two. Is that an actual 20? It's a two. No, it's a two. Oh, it's the a two. angle of that candle makes sense. Yeah, like, yes, it's, a it's a 20. <laughs> that's, right, okay, go on, no, keep going. That's a fail. Oh, 17. That's way 17. 17. 17. Okay. okay, yeah, you succeed. Um, nice. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, you guys must be the captains. I don't know why I thought otherwise. You Thank forgot. You. you forgot. What's that's... wrong with me? Yeah. Well, you just did a whole song about it. Oh, no, yeah, you, there's no way that that song can't be true. Yeah, so actually it's, it's getting a bit late and we've got to, oh, we've I'm got tired. to, we've got to set sail, yeah, aren't we boys? Really we have, yeah, yeah. Better get right, to the ship. Roll. We've got a couple of gigs in the morning. Mickey, it's great to meet you, mate. And he walks over oh, and like, what's Do you want me to sign this for you? Yeah, yeah, if you could just sign my forehead. I, I can't write. It's a gold assigning. I, gold. Can't, I can't write. Can so. anybody else write? It's can one, you write? I oh. actually can, I've got ink. It's one gold for a signing. Oh, one you're, gold? You're charging, fair play. Oh, yeah. You be my manager now. I haven't got a gold. Do you want to be my manager? Any copper, silver, sir? I got, I got oh, one of these. Yeah. These are, these, these, nice. are, these are special coins. Oh, coins very there. nice. Thank you very much very for nice. this oh, coin. coin. <laughs> I'm just, what is that? A copper? Oh, they can be handed in a commissary. Gold, eh? So they're, they're, they're outposts all around the, um, all around the, the, the thousand teeth. Yeah. They've got special things you can buy, but you've got to use these special coins. Oh, it's a special oh, coin. That's right. a special one. I'll get a few of them as Arbor Master. Sword bites down on it to check it's not chocolate, which he's often been conned by. It's not chocolate. Is that chocolate? Is that chocolate coin? No, I wish it was. That's unfortunately metal. Oh, I mean, wishes it oh, was. How's your tooth? Uh, I think it might be splintered, but we'll find yeah. out. Why, they wouldn't? Anyway, I'll no, leave no, you to no. it. Have a great night. Thank nice. you very much. Are you going to start my head or not? Yeah, I will actually. Go on in. Uh, I draw a pretend penis. You don't know. Amazing. He says. Thank you. Nice. Thank it's you. Good, isn't it? Thank you. That looks so good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. He does my autographs. He does my. Uh, Honestly, you usually we charge double, but you've been such a nice oh, guy. Oh, thank you so another much. Another one. I'll give you another one for free. Are you kidding? Yeah, but on the back <laughs> of your neck. You all right? Yeah, it's gonna be cock and balls jizzing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I love tattoos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've you should get them fully tattooed. You can get it They're done, not yeah. tattooed. Fully. I'll, go, I'll go right there now, actually. I'll go yeah, to the nearest yeah. link man up the road. Yes, um, please. I'll just go in and say, make these permanent, yeah? Just a quickie. So excited. Uh, Billy. Billy, the guy that claims he owned this ship before. Bill Jack Bill. Bill Jack Bill. Bob. Is Bill Jack Bob. Bill Jack Bill's his brother. I wouldn't trust this guy. He's been, 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 been in the tavern. Bill Jack Bob. He's not around here. You, I, I'd be wary of him right now. Well, yeah. actually, funny you say that. I was up at one of the other taverns. You yeah. know, the uh, the shit dog in. 
Oh, no, I've never been. You didn't go to that one? I didn't, that one. I didn't go to that one. No. Was it up there? Bigger one. A lot of the more rougher types like to go up there. Um, he was in there earlier. I did overhear that he was planning on making sail with the, uh, with the high tide, which that I make bastard. is about three hours from now. I'm not wearing a watch. Oh, right, uh, so you I'll make angles it at the moon. Three hours. Yeah. It's a moon dial. Well, we best get it's off a then. Moon we, dial. Best, we best get off. Thanks very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed the Cheers. performance. We're gonna, we've got a place to be. On tour, you know. Well, yeah, he's, he's busy. Cheers, him. Yeah. All right. All right. No, we'll nice. be on our way. Yeah. yeah. Cheers, we might guys. see you again, maybe. Cheers. I don't, we, didn't I even get his name. I reckon. Do you we, didn't uh, get his name? Uh, Neither did I. Oh, sorry, mate. Uh, I just realised yeah. you, you didn't pay for that performance. Oh, that's what that coin was, wasn't it? Ooh. That was for the autograph. That was the autograph. Sorry. Sorry. check. With advantage. <laughs> We're getting some free corn out of this. What, what, what am I rolling? D20, D20 again, D20. Craig. D20. It hasn't changed. I knew. I've done this so do many the dice same thing. What do they all do? So basically, you have charmed this man. You can persuade Nine. him to do things with ease, oh. but you need to try. What's Nine. Again? Nine plus your persuasion. Plus my persuasion. Is in this list alphabetically. Which plus is persuasion. plus seven. Wow. You've so got plus seven persuasion. I really see. You succeed already. You don't need to do the second roll. Okay. What, what do you want from him? Uh, the the fee for the uh, the the performance we just gave him. How much is it? How much is it? <laughs> How much can we get away with? Well, it, we're we're saying that five coppers equals a pint in this world. All right, right. pints. Right. So if you want a well, couple we each of want a pint of silver, fifteen coppers. Fifteen coppers. Oh, yeah. That's a bargain. It's so what is a silver? Wait, no, that's only ten copper. Here you go. It's two silver. And he Beautiful. flicks a two silver to you. You can add it to your inventory. Right, I've got to be off. off seems to be, my pocket seems to be empty at an alarming rate. Uh, I've got some more fees to collect. Anyway, yeah, like I say, I reckon Bill's Red Bob might be down here when high tide's fully in. And like, as I said earlier, you see the tide is coming in, yeah. so time's ticking. And uh, yeah, uh, Big John Brown, the harbour master, he, 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 he heads off back down the quay, further along the coast, up the hill, and he fades off into the distance. We do, we've done one sail, right? Yeah. Go on to this crescent island, and look at your music, it's already ten times better. And we're already making money from it. We're already well. making already. bank. Yeah. This is what it's like on the road. I reckon we put together a whole crew of roadies. Yeah. yeah. And but we're like on the sea. We... Well, there's no point. Seas. Then seas. 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 And uh, also, <laughs> maybe we do that after. Like maybe maybe a bit in the future. I got to go get the songs together first. While we're yeah. chatting, mm. I'm like, I look like I've got a lot of confidence walking onto this ship. And I so scroll onto, you're the, ship, onto you're, the ship. You're then? still on the quay at the moment, so you're stepping off onto the, the pier. You're know, so like walking walk, towards it. I'm walking towards the ship. Yep. It looks like I'm about to, you know, put the planks out to get onto the ship itself. Mm -hmm. um, can we make it on the ship? As you approach what you think is the, the fat duck, um, you see on the front of the ship, indeed it does say, in a, in a large, colourful, um, engraved lettering, the fat duck. This is the ship you're looking for. The ship has a distinctive um, and a very sort of admirable shape. A gently sloping bow with a single stern castle at the back. Um, it's seen a lot of scrapes, but it's been kept in excellent condition. So you can see damages from the adventures and, and things like it, it getting too close to rocks and things like that. But you can see how they've, things have been reconstructed, repainted, re-oiled. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a competent, capable ship. It's got a very deep um, uh, hull. So it's, it's been used for storing and transporting a lot of things. Um, at the back, on, a, on, the, on that castle is the, is, is the captain's wheel. Um, beneath that is the captain's cabin. Uh, then in front of that, you've got several sails, as you can see here, um, in front of that. And uh, yeah, it seems completely quiet at the moment. There's no lanterns on or anything like that. The whole ship is quietly just sat there, bobbing, tied up, some ropes onto the quay and things like that. Just, just waiting there. So yeah, if you, if you want, you can, you can try and approach it and get on, get on the ship. Yeah, I'm just kind of calmly talking to the guys about, you know, adventure and how we, we could really make this a real thing. Uh, whilst I'm doing that, though, um, I turn corners into like the captain's quarters, and I go in like stabbing, like so violently stabbing. Just doing so this. the captain's cabin is locked. Okay. So there's there's a uh, if you imagine uh, you're on the deck of the ship, and then at the rear of the ship, right. there are two staircases that lead up onto that top of that high cart that castle mm. where the steering wheel is. Beneath that, built into the bottom of that, is the captain's cabin. Um, it has a couple of very small windows and then a stout wooden door um, on the front centre of the cabin that's currently locked shut. Um, but you, you I go up to it and I basically, like, violently jingle the the knob, the handle. It's yeah. locked. Uh, now what? Well, well, I'm all that by this. I've got a couple little tricks up my sleeve. There's okay. an artificer. I can I can create stuff. Yeah. And I can create 
proficient tools, so thieves' tools. This requires one hour of uninterrupted work. Ah, oh, like, okay. It's a long night. We only have three. Boys, if you give me some time, I'll create the perfect lockpick How for much this time tool. are we talking? One hour My performance most. took up quite a lot of the night, you see. I'm tired. I am, um, I am smashed, mate, but after I mean, that We gig. can just sleep on the deck while he... Dark Master said three hours until he comes. Yeah. Three hours until high tide, until which will be the tide. best time to sail the boat out of the harbour. So if anything, oh, so we've we got time leave. to kill, you we may as well. We can't leave until three hours. Yeah, yeah at which point um, Bill Strap Bob is yeah. going to be on his way as well, so we've got to kind of make it... Bill Strap Bob? Bill Drap. Bill Rat. Bill Rat Bob. I'll get stuck in on this. Yeah, All okay. Right. He won't, he's, uh, Sword's not going to know about this, but I'm going to create a powerful, disgusting smell that's going to linger underneath his nose <laughs> the entire time he works. <laughs> Who's? Uh, uh, Sword's okay. nose. So, so yeah, I, I can create, uh, using <laughs> prestigitation, a, um, an odour, which I want to linger just under his nose, nostrils. It's going to smell like, <laughs> like imagine the eggiest kind of like stink bomb, but I just wanted him to kind of be like, can you guys? I just wanted to notice that that's a smell, and I've, I'm, weird, I'm like, He's gonna know something really hot. We won't smell it, don't worry. We'll be fine. Uh, do uh, I know what so you give me a perception? I just wanted to be working for an hour with that stench. <laughs> just because I think it's funny. That is a 15. Okay, you know that Titus is, is, is doing something here to create this horrible smell. So I've got my little box of like gadgets and tools and trinkets. I've got a piece of metal that I've put out delicately in this <laughs> yeah. little vice. Mm -hmm. I start whittling away and I take a cast of like the inside of the lock and stuff. Wow. And this I put it down and stuff. I'm making a cast. Yeah. And this whiff, this odour, comes in. <laughs> I throw up onto the box of stuff. <laughs> Am I in on it? Do I know what you've done? I told you, I'm whispering yeah, okay. to you. Like, I'm going to make it smell horrible. No, he, he can smell He's, it. He's smelling it now. I'm looking <laughs> directly at uh, Titus. <laughs> Seeing him throw up makes one throw up. I throw up. <laughs> so you throw up on the deck. <laughs> and then throw up on the deck. The smell. Okay. Why would you do that? It's because you threw up! Give me a constitution roll. <laughs> uh, roll your d20, tell him the score, add your constitution modifier to it. Uh, it's an, Ooh, 19. Ooh, 19. Okay, you're fine. You throw fine. up, but you still feel okay. Yeah. It's almost like a purgative vomit. <laughs> what the fuck it's is still wrong with you? I'm still laughing. <laughs> right. I'm trying to concentrate, why would you create such a fucking smell? All right, Disgusting. Um, I thought it'd be funny. Roll me, funny roll at me all. a d20. It's really funny, look at him. Who's it for? It's like he's, he's, he doesn't know, he didn't know. I can't tell if he's laughing. He just can't, he's got even, he can't even smell it. I don't have much expression. Are you going laughing on. at this point? Ian? I'm laughing with or at you. <laughs> so indifferent. <laughs> well, despite like, this yeah. smell, sword, you're making good progress on the tools. Um, Boys, just go to the fucking front of the ship. Right. No more smells. All right. Otherwise, we're not getting in this. And then, what is his name? Right, we'll Bill Rat Bob is going to come back for his ship. Right, we'll leave him alone. We go to yeah, the front we'll of the ship. And we fucking do hell, that really fucking reeks. <laughs> yeah. All okay. right, guys. So I'll as Sticky, Mickey and Titus go to the walk go. towards the front of the ship, like I say, the ship is in good order. The ropes, hull and sails look in excellent, excellent condition. There's no crew to be seen, even though a, a ship this size would require a decent crew of probably it at was. least sort of 10 to 20 people to operate. Oh. <laughs> um, you know the captain and his first mate have been drinking heavily uh, in, in one of the taverns you came from, the, the shit dog the inn. The rough one. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. and one uh, yeah, you, you can look around. There's, there's a large grate in the front middle of the deck, which is like the loading grate. That opens up right. and things can be stored in and out of the, uh, the hull. That's currently locked. Sort of in front of that metal grate, there is a door that again is currently locked. Um, it's like a flat, square, wooden door that has a ring that falls up and you can pull it up and then beneath that is a, uh, like a fold-out wooden ladder. So it's more of a hatch. You can go down it. Yeah, it's more of yeah. a hatch. Okay. Um, uh, while I'm like filing down the finishes of this lockpick, uh, I call out to the guys. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. BT dubs. Hey. Uh, likely that these guys are going to come back at high tide, the time we want to go out, right? And it's going to be a bit of a standoff. Have you guys killed before? No, no, oh, no, 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 I killed it, but no. I've watched not, people be sense. killed. You've watched them be killed? Yeah, my father killed a lot of people. Oh, right. No, you've never like, done they're normally servants. Servants? Yeah, if they wow. served him something wrong or stinky or horrible, he was quite brutal. And he, he, he had some spells up his sleeve. That's a lot of backstory I don't want to unpackage right That's now. That's fine. I feel like yeah, it's an emotional mess. Which is not what I need. Uh, bizarrely, I'm bothered by it. Okay. Yeah, I've not done enough. it myself, so I'm, I'm looking forward to something, right. something different. Well, you, you did some pyrotechnics, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, you got some spell capabilities. I can, I can use a fire. Just be prepared to burn someone's face off. No, easily, yeah. Uh, In fact, I probably could have done it to that lock, but I think, again, 
That's no, we've got to fire. We've got to bring the shit back the in ship, some sort of yeah. working order. We're not going to get paid, are yeah, we? Exactly. Uh, this is someone else's ship that's been stolen. Either way, know. look for a vantage point on this ship right. where you can get some cover, but you can also do some damage to anyone that's trying to get on our ship as we set sail. So right. there's two right. ladders, there's two big masts, one of which has a crow's nest, the other doesn't, but you can still climb it to get a look if you want. Two big masts with ladders. Um, I'll go. go look up the crow's nest if you want. I've got these turtle shells I can just drop on people. You can. Sorry, can, so I, be, can I be completely honest with you? I don't think you're going to fit up there. I could. I, I, could, I, know, I, I know that's very What are you blood, saying? I mean, well, I'm just saying, I've, look at you. I've eaten quite well recently, well, not, but what are you shell. trying to say? It's your, family's, it's, your, it's your family shell, it's your back shell. It's all the instruments. You're huge. I'll give it a go. But right? I don't think you should, okay? You don't think I should? Well, I don't understand. So it's a very spindly Look how small that nest is up there. It's a big mast and, you, I mean, Sorry, mate. He's right. He's got a point. You're mad. I'm not trying. It's not a dig. Maybe find it's a, a different vantage point. All right, fine. He looks oh. really downtrodden. He doesn't know right. his own size. Um, it's like, <laughs> doesn't look good about that one. Are you, gonna, are you gonna try and climb the mast? I'm gonna start climbing up there. I, you're gonna start. He, climbing. He's, he's beating me to it. He's beating me to it. Sorry, I'll, I'll find somewhere else. You're going up the middle one. You're gonna go. I'm gonna go the middle one for the crow's nest. The main one to the crow's nest. Okay, crow's nest. So I can give me an acrobatics check. Roll a d20. Add your acrobatics score. Fourteen. Yep, that's 14. And add your acrobatic score. Acrobatic. Two. two. Plus two. 16. Wow, okay, 16. Yeah, 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 you get up there fine. Um, you climb up, quite spry. It's almost like you've oh. perhaps sailed before. Wow. Uh, you get up onto the top of the mast, it's very high. Um, so Maybe not as quick, but... It's I'm... about it's about 60 feet high, at least. Oh. It's, uh, it's, it's quite some height. As you're at the top of this, this mast, <laughs> you can feel the gentle sway oh. of the ship as it lightly bobs in the, in the, the oh. soft uh, swell of, of the harbour. It's still a soft, it's very, it's almost flat here. So, you know, like it's very sort of sedate, slight swings. Uh. Kind of almost soothing in a bit. <laughs> you don't need to cling on to the mast unless you want to. There is a, like a balustrade of the, of the, of the crow's new. nest that you can look around. There we go. You can see quite some distance. You can see all the way back down the, the walkway that you came to get out to the ship. Onto the beach, you can see several taverns and things like that. You can see everything At this up point, here. about 45 minutes has passed since um, uh, Sword started working on the tools. <laughs> yeah, I'm um, And you can see, um, you can see people moving around on the beach, coming out of taverns and things like that. It's about almost approaching about 1 a.m. now, so people are thinking about turning in. Um, the the high tide's going to be here in a couple of hours, so the crews and that are going to be heading out with uh, the high tide and the sun up are getting ready too. Um, you notice more and more people are starting to move down the harbour and the walkways and the piers, loading up their small boats and things like that. At the moment, you don't see anyone who looks like they're coming towards the fat duck, um, but it's Tetis. certainly more activity. Titus, mate, is there a little yeah. bell? Is there a bell up there or something? Ding, 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 ding. Am I ringing the bell or are you ringing is the bell? Is there a bell? Is there a bell? Is there a bell up there? There is a bell. You, you want to ring it? Do, do, I'm you want to ring? You're ringing the bell. This bell works. Ah, uh, right. I was suggesting you ring it if you were to see anyone imminently trying to board the ship. I think it's the bell's working. You hearing someone, the bell? Someone coming? No, what? No, it's so, you ring the bell if someone's coming onto the ship. Okay, someone's on the it's fucking working. ship. It's working. It's uh, working. Initially, people discount the ship's bell as being um, just, you know, a crew calling people uh, uh, to, to work on the ship, you know, get going. Um, however, after a while, people realise that the bell's going on a bit too much and a bit too sporadically, and people start looking your way, and they and they see you uh, on the fat duck. They don't really bat much of an eyelid. People like to keep themselves themselves. It sounds great. Um, I haven't heard this sound before. Quit. Stop ringing the fucking this is a bell. A weird sound. But what you do notice is on the beach now, three people have made their way from a tavern in the back um, of, of of the town, and they've come up to the beach, and they're sort of looking and gesturing and pointing now at the fat duck. I'm laughing. <laughs> and, and they're looking at each other quite angrily, and then they start moving with real intention, heading towards seen this. what looks like. Uh, give me a perception check. That That's is a ten. A ten. No, he doesn't see it. Um, <laughs> you so still hear it? These so people aware. are heading. You're not aware. You're not aware. I've done it. The lockpick. The lockpick's done. I'm okay. Gonna start. When okay. should I stop? Okay. You shouldn't have started. <laughs> give me a sleight of hand check for picking, picking that lock. Oh no. That's a one. <laughs> Natural one? Mm. <laughs> Just a one. Uh, the tool's breaking the lock. <laughs> Fuck! Okay. An hour! So, so the tool breaks in the lock. No. Um, I used the clay mold rather than the actual thing. I like, I did the... And now the clay's inside the lock. <laughs> right, okay, so there's now... The lock's been jammed up with, with, with clay. For sake! Um, Ross, give me another perception check. 
you, uh, if it goes. Sorry, it's, it's really like a that shield. is a 10. Another 10. Plus two, right? Loving those 10s. Okay, you think you might see something coming towards the ship. Hey, guys! Ding, 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 ding. I think... <laughs> Still ringing the bell. I think there's people coming! Oh, shit. Should I stop ringing the bell? Sticky Mickey, let's, let's get ready to rumble some. I've, I've gone off and hid somewhere. Sticky Sorry. Mickey, where are you? Sounds annoying now. Have you hid? So I've hid. Can you see on the front of the... the <laughs> If we use this uh, ship as an example there, the very, I don't know what you call it, like you see where the front is, yeah, Mask where your finger thing. is, if you come all yeah. the way down, I'm kind of like gripping on. On the front. To the front of the ship. Like, like one of the, like, like, the, um, like the ship's head. Un yeah, underneath. Yeah, yeah. So I look like one of the, yeah, one of the ship's heads. Okay, okay. The, I don't, what's that called? Like a, it's um, like a gargoyle for a ship. Yeah, yeah it is, isn't it? That's what I'm doing. How am, I get, how am I getting on with this? Can you, uh, no, you oh, did oh, it. The head. Yeah, it might be called that. Uh, I'll find out quickly. What figurehead. 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 Right. So I'm, I'm okay. like a figurehead on the front of the ship because I noticed it didn't have one. Ticky Mickey! Yeah. Where are you? Where's that? Where's okay, that toe? Uh, roll me a d20. Um, you're going to be doing a stealth check. I don't see him! Uh oh. <laughs> That's a four. He's pretty obvious. Okay. Add three. Okay, right. Uh, as you're doing it, your grip fails. You fall off the front of the ship the and sea. plunge into the water. <laughs> You hear a big splash. I can't shack, swim. Sticky Mickey. I face, you face can't swim. I'm a turtle that can't swim. Are you actually? Yeah. Okay. You hear flailing and a lot of what sounds like a lot of instruments hitting the oh water. Oh my gosh! For I can float sake. on my back, but I can't swim. So I'm not going to drown. Okay. But I, just, I can't move. To where I'm I heard floating. the sound. Yeah. And I've got my backpack. I've got some 50 foot of hemp and rope. Yeah. I'm like Sticky Mickey, please hold on to this. So he throws the rope. Try okay. and grab the rope. I'm trying to grab it. Do I need to roll for yeah, it? I can or? roll for you if you like. You succeed. You grab the rope. Oh, I got it. All right. And now uh, I'm going to try and tie it to something sturdy on this ship. So the front mast would be a good way to do that? Yeah, you can, I'll you can do tie that. it to that. Tie it around the front mast, no problem. All right. Pull yourself up. Pull myself up. <laughs> yeah, I'm not right. lifting you. Okay. I'm gonna, I need, I need, I two, I need I two strength it. checks. Try, try. Roll d d20. Add your strength. Five. What's your strength? Plus one. Plus one. Okay, no, roll again. You fail the first one. You pull, sag back into the water. Come on, stick. Now's not the time. Eight plus one is nine. <laughs> you still fail. You're oh. he's floundering around the water. Say yes. Yes. We need your powers or something. Sticky oh, Mickey's oh, over. Oh, he's oh, overboard. Oh, oh. Okay, I think I've got something. I think I can use something. I'm gonna levitate him. Okay. I'm What's the him range up? of levitate? Oh, that's a good. And point. you might be. Able, you might have to see him as well. One sec. I'll find you that okay. now. Okay. Sixty feet is the range. Okay. Um, one creature or loose object of your choice that you can see within range rises vertically up to 20 feet and remains suspended there for the duration. Uh, yet you can do that on okay. um, you can do that on him on on uh, Kipipi. Okay. He's over there. Why is he having a swim? <laughs> see? You can levitate him up to 20 feet. What do you do? Levitatio. I'm lifting him up. Whoa. So as Titus casts levitatio from uh, from the from the, 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 the uh, crow's nest, mm -hmm. you. Oh. And everything around you suddenly begins to drift just out of the water, lifting gently. All of like your baggage and stuff sags against your body as the, they're no longer floating and it, the weight is once again taken up by your shell. And you just drift awkwardly 20 feet above the water surface. Oh my just god, this off is the amazing! Front bow, you can pull him in like a hot air balloon. Hold on to that rope! We're gonna <laughs> pulling him in. <laughs> We're gonna have to end the shows like this in future. <laughs> so you pull him in. And uh, I pull him in to make sure he's got some wood under his feet. Oh. How does it feel, Sticky? All right, stop the levitate. It's so stop weird. <laughs> Zero G. It's okay, well, good. This, right, this can last for up to ten minutes. So yeah, as long as you're you're, he's going to stay. Awesome. I think he should stay afloat. I think you keep me in the air. You yeah. have to concentrate. <laughs> you, you can on use it. Your, you, have to, you have to concentrate. However, you can do other things that don't require concentration. This is this is a subtle thing about spell casting in D and D. Ross you can't do like another. It's, there are two kinds of spells. Right. There are normal spells and there are concentration spells. Okay. Concentration spells require your concentration, yeah. um, and you can only do one concentration spell at a time. You can actually choose to move up and down whilst levitating. By the can way, I? yeah, yeah, he can do it too. So basically, um, you can change you can change the target's altitude by twenty feet in either direction on your own. Turn, okay. or if you are the target, you can move up or down as part of your move. And because you're connected by a rope, he can also pull you I can around. Move you in terms of this, because there's no turns as such right yeah. now. Yeah, at the yeah. moment it lasts ten minutes. We're not battle. He's just up. So yep. it's just more. Yeah, can I just start like lifting up and down for fun. Yeah, you can yeah. if you like. He, he raise you. So I'm this in a while. The, I'm just off the edge. I'm of trying like, to counteract all of their. <laughs> I'm doing that thing around. where you're, you're just off the edge of the ship, and it's like it's hiding part of my I'm just going like down the yeah, stairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Good and stuff. And look, the elevator. Bing. Oi. Oh. Oh. You hear? You hear an oi? I immediately get out my gun. 
your gun, okay? Wow. And cock it and point it at the noise. Jesus, okay. he's got a shooter. So you look <laughs> over <laughs> your still playing. right hand shoulder, whilst you've all been hilariously watching the giant turtle bob up and down, off to your right, which is where the uh, the, 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 the fat duck is docked against the, the dock there, there you see three people. The leader of which is this man, Bilge Rot Rat Bob. You um, recognize him because, unlike that photo, oh, he has the shape a of a rat carved into his forehead. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. right, wow. So it's like a really badly right. drawn rat cut into his forehead. I see. He's flanked by two very mean looking individuals. Um, classic henchman scenario. Yes, like, Boys, what are you doing on my boat? And, uh, and, and that's, that's Bilge Rob. Uh, Bilge, Bilge, my God, it is hard to say. Bilge Rat Bob. Um, he's asked, what are you doing on my boat? I shoot him. You shoot him. He's yeah. shot. You take a shot at him. Yeah. Okay, right. Um, in which case, we'll roll initiative. Gonna be a rough one, boys! You're going first, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, but then we'll roll initiative. Okay. Um, so I get so a little surprise round. You do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I like that kind of thing. I think that it should be rewarded. Um, but, uh, so guys, you need to roll d20s as yeah, well. Uh, and then you D20s. add your initiative, which is on your sheet. Okay, yeah, you got a 12. And then if you go uh, back to your abilities. Actually, it's right at the top. I got 12 plus two. two. Plus two. Who's got better decks? Um, 14. You're going to go first. Trot, you I'm aim your pistol. Yeah, I want you to do an attack roll um, as if it's a heavy crossbow. That's how it's we're going to do it. Just a simple plus one on this. Yeah. And then a, uh, that's a 19 total. Yep, you hit. That's a five plus a nine. So that's a... 14? 14. Nice. 14 damage. Boom. Where so, do I hit him? So you, you pull it, you hit it. <laughs> Oi! What are you doing on my ship? You turn, there's pull your pistol. There's a ton of recoil and gun. smoke coming out of this thing. So there's a lot of recoil in this yeah. air. Right, so you... <laughs> the hammer comes down, ignites a huge powder charge. You put way too much powder way in this gun. Much, yeah. like, like, a lot of it comes out as just light and smoke. All right, so a lot of this energy. So bang, this, this, this big old chunky flintlock pistol goes off. Uh, the recoil, you know, pulls your shoulder back, your hand back, everything. Bang. Oh, this, yeah. This, this round comes out and it's a big old round as well, you know. It's like a big, round, crudely formed round yeah. as well. It's not accurate, but from this range, it doesn't matter. The bullet was barely put together. Yeah, yeah. This thing is like a Jaffa cake if you <laughs> melted it down and turned it into a bullet made of metal. Very nice. Um, it takes, it takes uh, Bilge Rat Bob in the shoulder and honestly just blows his shoulder right back. You know, that is a... Christ, bloody hell, game! You know? I love fighting, so yeah. I'm like cheering and hollering. So and you, you, you land a really nice hit on this guy, and uh, yeah, there's a hole in his shoulder now. He immediately reaches into his pocket and just stuffs some rags on it. He's, you know, he's he's used to being injured as well. He's he, he's gnarled. He's messed up. You can right. see that he's done a lot of sort of homemade triage on himself. <laughs> okay. So he gets like a filthy rag. Packs up his mouth, he's a bit sweaty as well, and he stuffs it into the hole, right, nice. that you've made with this giant fucking nice. thing. There's a huge exit wound out the back that he hasn't even paid attention to yet, <laughs> right. you know? Like, the, you, you can see as he sort of orders his men around. Already there's a big sort of red stain on the back of his shirt, right? He's really hurt. Um, For my movement and my surprise round, can I just uh, <clears throat> combat roll yeah. behind some crates? Yeah, you combat roll behind some crates. Some um, would you like to... And I start ramrodding my next round. Okay, you start, <laughs> start loading again. Away. Okay, good. Next person to take a turn is uh, Bilge Rat Bob. Um, oh, okay. Uh -oh. He is gonna oh. um, race over the gangplank and he's going to um, draw, he's got a large uh, saber sort of thing, okay. a large sword. Oh, I'm still he floating closes here. With I'm the, still floating he, closes, he tries to swing at the floating turtle, all right? Total, my Whoa. apologies. He goes for a swing. Me. <laughs> I need to roll we'll to. We'll um, see if he does. <laughs> We're gonna need the shield. Seventeen. Fifteen. Does that be a seventeen? It does not. No, it doesn't. It he doesn't. misses. Yeah. Takes another swing. He misses again. Uh, bloody floating tall, come uh, down here! <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are your hands? Have you got hands? I got hands. Yeah. Okay, you're not just like padded. <laughs> no. Okay. One of his compatriots here. Jumps up with him. It's all right, boss. I'll get him. Says the man with the, 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 the pointy face. It's all very tropey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get him. <laughs> oh, I'll get him. And um, he ignores the turtle. He sees the wizard up the thing. He puts his knife in his mouth and starts scaling up the, up the, up the ladder. And he's coming up for you, Ross. And uh, what you can do here, I'm going to let you try and kick down at him oh. for free if you like. Can I so uh, use roll, a okay, yeah. roll to hit, roll a d20. You'll be able to do that on your turn. Don't worry. Oh, it's not my turn. Okay. Well, what did I get? You got 18. 18. 18 plus you actually succeed. <laughs> so, so 
you stop him from, you. from climbing up fully into the tower, and he's currently just clinging onto the ladder, trying to find a way with his knife to try and get at you. Okay, that's his turn. Okay. Uh, finally, this other guy. He doesn't sound like a stereotypical one. Oh, boss! He's, that's the big dude with the long hair and the necklace. Oh, boss! I'm going to try and find the one that shot at you! And the. Oh, I don't know. I hate that, 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 that bloke's voice. <laughs> Why do, if he wasn't so buff and strong, we wouldn't let him in our gang, oh, to be honest yeah. with you. Oh, I'm going to get him! And uh, he closes with you, and uh, he's looking around, dodging, trying to get look behind the barrels and things like that. Fuck, off, fuck off, fuck off! Can he, can he see it? And he's going to do a little. <laughs> he cannot see you. Can't, I can't find which crates did he go My behind? <laughs> Alright, and uh, so that's that guy's turn for now. Titus, it's your actual go now. You get oh, to do something um, okay. other than like stamp to, the guy's um, hands. I'd like to fire a chromatic orb of acid in his face. Wow, okay. I just want to splash acid in his face. Which like, one? The guy coming up to me? The guy coming closest to me, yeah, coming up to me. Okay. I feel like... Uh, you. Ooh, I've no, uh, again, I haven't done this in a while, guys. So you got uh, 15, 15 plus 5. 20. Very good. Now you do 48. Uh, 3D8. 3D8. Oh, sorry. Which one? So you can actually just tap that if you want it to just be done oh, okay. for you. 13. Sorry, it's... Uh, 13 damage? Yeah. Okay. Pretty good. That's Pretty good acid on. on him. <laughs> yeah, he, he goes... Oh, boss! Oh, God, my mom! Oh, I got God, him! My beautiful face and my lovely singing voice! <laughs> yeah! Oh, it's, it's yeah. oh, God! God, you really fucked him up! You've this actually attacked this man in the face from amazing. three feet away. Okay, you I got him with acid! You see, like, a hop drop in hand, yeah. fist pumping from behind the crate. Yeah, yeah. fuck him up! Oh. Alright, he's gonna actually... Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> He fails to hold on as well. Nice. Um, he falls and uh, hits the floor and dies. Um, yeah! I think he's oh. dead! So he's <laughs> oh, and it, it, oh, no, it's going down his throat! So he notices the acid because he's oh all looking up at you. God, he feels it horrific. running down his throat. And he's like, oh, oh, and he loses his grip, just like I almost oh. did then, and he falls from the top of a mast, yeah, 60 that's feet that's down, drop, yeah. straight Half flat onto his back, and it just Instant silence. That's one! That's Jesus. one! I'm gonna be messed up after this. <laughs> I'll be really happy. I'll just, just do a really that. solid clap. Fuck yes! That's okay. one round! I didn't think I had it in me! You're good messed job. up, mate! Do you want to stay up in the town? Do you want to try and move down? You're happy up here? I'm quite good up there. It's a pretty good spot for a wizard. Weapons, yeah. nest. Okay, yeah, Kapipi, pretty... it's your, you'll go next. I don't know if I can do this, guys, but I'll, I'll try and help. And I whip out these, because uh, I've been using these drumsticks. Right. I, I spin him around and where I've been holding her actually sharpened. I was Ooh, like, nice. I never knew when I'd need these. Nice. I've never used them yet. Are you still floating as well? I'm still floating as well. <laughs> Maybe I can communicate to... Uh, no, no, oh, you can oh. move yourself. So you up, can move you, yourself. Oh, using your movement, down, you can... No, no, can I, any direction. Oh, 20, any direction. Any direction, I'm yeah. using your movement In now. that case, no. I want to kind of do like one of those, um, like, stealth drops from above with a, a sharpened drumstick. Okay, oh, wow. yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Do you want to use two? Both, yeah. Like so you come and down, down like this on top of someone's. So you drift I'm, over. I'm and you need a stealth check. You're going to try and drift right. over the top of them. Give me a stealth check first. Roll a d20. Add your stealth. Got to be visible already, surely. <laughs> this, this well, no, but in the in the melee, you yeah. can get distracted. This, this is really fantastic, though. This giant turtle gliding across oh, with sticks high. in his hands. What's, What's your stealth? Uh, add your stealth to it. All right. Three, eight. That's eleven. All right. So you drift over. Which one are you going for? You going for the boss? You going for his mate? I'm going for the uh, the this guy. The great. Is, the, is wait, which yeah. one? Do I yeah, kill? the other one's dead. Flip the uh, flip the other guy over. The long hair boy. Yeah. Oh, I didn't last very long. Maybe acid it was attack. my voice. Yeah, Quick I'm acid going attack. For the one with the hair. Quick acid attack. Down the throat. <laughs> Down the That's throat. Gross. Okay, yeah. so you're attacking the the other guy, the shark sort of face man. Oh no! Roll to hit. Um, oh no! Oh no! Roll. He's coming for me. You got to roll d20 plus your um, to hit yeah. bonus. Whatever that is. Three. Seven plus three. That's ten. You miss. So he's like, oh, oh, he dodges oh, to the side, he kind of pushes your arms over as both the, the sharp and drumsticks sort of just go whoosh, like that. He's like, whoa, you tried to stab me in the neck. I did, and I'll do it again. <laughs> All right, that's good. Right, next person is Sword. I'm feeling this You're now, I'm feeling adrenaline. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> You're going Sword. It. I got a tiny ramrod that I'm like pushing yeah, down yeah. the next, like really gnarled bullet. And I'm going to put my arm on the crate as some stabilization and shoot the boss again. Okay, roll to hit. That's an eight plus. Your gun jams. Oh, oh God. below a 10, right? Yep. The nine total, yeah. So. so yeah, you miss and unfortunately, so you put it down. 
Oh, duh. something's happened. Yes. You're not sure what. You need to spend an action um, checking the flint. I'm going to die. I'll yell what, down. what you could do is step on the way. Us. Instead of spending your next action unjamming it, you could stash. You could use a bonus action to stash the pistol and switch to a different weapon. But that's not something you can do right now. You can use your movement now, though. What would you like to do? I'm going to stay behind the crate and just duck down and okay. get a bit of extra cover and shout "fuck you" to the boss. Bandit captain hears this. Uh, he's located where you are, and he comes towards you. Yep. He kicks over the barrel you're taking cover behind and attempts to hit you. 19. Yeah, that definitely hits. 10 damage to you. Wow. Okay, that's a sizable amount of damage. Jeez. Knocks me over. Ugh, trying to shoot me again, were you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm trying to... Hold on. <laughs> I'm ramrodding my next round. <laughs> He's sort of slashed through your, along your shoulder through here. He's sort of caught a bit of your harness and things like that. Bastard. It's not done loads of damage, but it's taken a big groove out of you here. You're bleeding a bit, but nothing too serious. He's feeling a bit woozy still, because he's still got that fresh old exit wound out of his back. Yeah. So he's looking a little bit more worse for wear. Sure. Um, but uh, yeah, apart from that, he's, he's scrambling around with you now, thinking about how best to finish you off. The bandit now uh, looks to um, grab you round the legs, like almost just a tackle. Right. Right. He's going to try and grab you around the legs. Um, he's going to roll to hit. That's uh, an eight. 17. 17. Yeah. No. Oh! I, I saw gotcha. you. I move out of the yeah, way. You, I, I raise a little bit higher. <laughs> raise very slightly more. How long has this spell got left? 10 minutes. As long Ten as minutes. he's concentrating, you're yeah. fine. Yeah, right. you're um, concentrate. <laughs> I am. Kind of. Uh, anyway, what happens is you drift very slightly guy. further higher than he was anticipating. Oh, God. And um, he just completely misses you. He grabs air, lands straight flat on his front, prone on the deck. Whoa! Bloody hell, boss, this turtle is tricksy! I'm going to hit one of them with fire. Which one? I'm going to smash some fire down Are there. Are you sure that's a good idea? No. I'm, I'm going to... Which, which, which one's words. closest to who? Sorry, who's closest to... I'm are you currently with tussling? the boss. I'm going to fireball the, the, the guy tackling you, sword. I'm going to... Well, I know I can't do anything, but can't like, anything. imagine yeah, yeah. I'm trying to put his back to... <laughs> 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 Firebolt! At five. Oh, nice. 21. 21! Yep, Roll damage, 1d10. Six. Okay, six damage to the bandit captain. Nice start, nice job. Do Take a hit, at son! All? Still good? A bit more fire next time. Get burned! So yeah, as you do that, you reach over the, the banner of the, of the crow's nest and... <laughs> what, what does your firebolt look like? It looks like water. So it's like a water bolt. But it's, it's a fire ball. Yeah. But it's blue. Nice. So it's Just a very like my skin. Bluish, yeah. kind of like blue watery flame. flame. Like yeah, yeah, exactly. Like flame blue. But with a little bit of water in it. <clears throat> yeah. So it hits him. Yeah. Hits him on the shoulder. Ah, ah, you're trying to put it out. But there's no fire there. But it's wet. What's that about? Wet It's going to be What wet. is that about? Water it's, fire. Oh, I feel like you're, you're, yeah. you're scolding people more than anything. Like, you're like chucking <laughs> full, water, yeah. full kettles of water on people. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. So you've asked to attack somebody it's and you've got my a, favorite. a full kettle. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my specials. The asked was great, but this, <laughs> this is just t tormenting you. That's mean. <laughs> Maiming the man. Okay, Sticky Mickey, your go. All right. You get advantage on the guy that's now fallen flat on his face, by the way, because he's prone. As a, with the if you try and get him with the with the sharpened sticks this time, you get advantage because he finds it so hard to move out of the way. All right, I'm going to try the sticks again. Okay, I'm convinced this is this is the weapon for me. So I roll D20 again. D20. Yeah, roll but you can roll it twice now and pick the better number. Oh, that's what advantage means. Yeah, eight. So you can roll again. Eleven. So pick eleven and then add three. That's a hit. Where did the three come from? You got him. From your sharpened drumsticks. Of course. Smashed. Stab him. You hit the bandits. You hit him. Now you can do the damage. Oh. Wait, hang on, so this is the one that was on trot, right? Not the one that attacked me. No, no, this is the one that attacked you. This is, this is the oh, one that fell went. down. Yes, oh, yes, and he okay. fell down. That's why you got advantage. Okay. Yeah. So I, I'm still levitating above him. I come in from above and, you, and just lower myself down as fast as I can to give the extra force of the... Nice. Okay, all right, you can have plus two to the damage. Roll damage. Wow. Where am I rolling this for? Because that is the damage of your sharpened drumsticks. Oh, I'm learning with the audience. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, four, four. four. Plus Roll two two already, those. so that's five plus the two. Roll another one of those because you do you oh, use two, two sticks. sticks. Yeah. Oh. Nice. This is going to be a strong. So how much did this equal out? This is legless two sword style. Plus two on top. Yeah. So that wasn't really five a roll. as well. <laughs> yeah. Twelve well, then total. How do you want to kill him? This, you, this is a killing blow you've struck. This is a killing blow. Mm -hmm. So it's going straight into the side of his neck like that. So it's the like flesh. So yeah. above so the collarbone. When, once the sticks are in, it's like he's got like this collar of sticks sticking out because it's like that one's gone through. So it's like a, it's like a cross through. This is the guy that had reservations about killing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
And the players. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like coming in. Yeah. Both I made at batteries. <laughs> Instantly, the guys. Did I get in? Yeah, this is a bloody death. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you made it you're, still, you're still floating as well. <laughs> you, you get it because he's, he's not prone on his front. You come in, nail both arteries with the sharpened sticks, and he struggles for a bit. So you hold on to one stick and roll him over using the weight. And as he rolls over, and you're sort of Mission Impossible levitating above him, <laughs> right? <laughs> it just completely just opens up the wounds, and yeah, you're getting. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like an oil pipe <laughs> blown on an engine. All right, you are getting b dayed by Lift this. Lift me up! I can't do it! Yeah. Lift me up! <laughs> no, no, you can't. Sorry, you've used all your movements. You'll go you, with you, you go down. That's this, is, is this where the spell runs out and I'm just laying? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to go up. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, you killed the bandit. Good job. Wow. Uh, is it top? This one, was not it? a monster. Yeah. A horrible monster. Oops, that speeds see. the acid. Sword, you'll go. You're, right. you're currently like scraping around, dodging, trying to get I'm out. I'm just going to drop the gun. Yep. And I'm going to get out from, you know, a sheath on the side, a morning star. <laughs> okay. I've it's got a morning star. Okay. Starting nice. yeah, yeah, and yeah, I'm just yeah. going to jab upwards with that. Okay. But that is a 16. Yep, that hits. Uh, so that's four. Four points of morning star. Four I just like, damage. get away from me, you prick! <laughs> you manage to use your morning star, thrust upwards, you catch him on the chin. It knocks him backwards, he stumbles slightly. Nice. Oh, nice, nice, oh nice. Christ. Oh, where's, my, where's my boys? He looks around, they're both dead. He's, he's, he's looked over and he's just seen this floating turtle getting a face shower of blood. I just point the morning star in. <laughs> yeah. Acid ruin the other guy. Walk away, son. It's not worth it. Oh. Oh. And, he, and he turns and he just runs and he jumps off the side of the... Uh, I try and hit him on the way. Okay, roll it here. <laughs> <laughs> you get an attack of opportunity, sure. Yeah. You get one as well. Oh, yeah, because you can see him trying to run. I can try and fire him. You can, if you want, you can try and fire something at him. I can, well, I can use firebolts for free, so. Yeah. Fire rolled a hit. It's only 10. Firebolt. You, you rolled a hit with a 10. Yeah. Yeah, you miss. I'll get him! Five. Five. Oh, no. Oh, okay. That's not this good. bolt fires, <laughs> zips past him. He definitely notices us trying to kill him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he feels the sweep, a whiff of air as a morning star misses him as he moves away, and then. And a, 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 a watery <laughs> bolt of pain like flies past his ear, like, and then he just makes it jump and disappears into the inky blackness of the sea. And you just hear in the distance some splashing. splashing. I mean, he yeah. still locks him away. That's good. Kind of, <laughs> all the films. I didn't show you that bit, but after a moment, he comes up to the surface. <laughs> right, I'm going now. And, um, and, and he starts swimming back towards the shore. <laughs> However, as he swims back to the shore, he gets about 30, 40 feet away from the boat. You're in quite deep water here. It's a deep draft of the boat. And of course, he's, he's bleeding profusely. He is. And, um, not as much as this guy. Not as much as the <laughs> it's guy. It's surprising how much it is still going. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. I think it's about 10 pints in the average human body. No, I so, believe um, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you hear this splash. There's this sudden whoosh, whoosh sound. What was that? And then just a boom. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh. And that's... What, you, what happened? <laughs> you go, oh Jesus yeah. Christ, Sticky Mickey! Don't okay. go swimming. <laughs> You're Do out not of go back in the water. You're, You're a mess, mate. mate. <laughs> after the after the, the the melee and the, all the noise calms down, you realise that everybody in the local area has has scarpered. It's it's a bit of a ghost town again yeah. because they don't want anything to do with this. You know, yeah. they they see a lot of trouble in this part the of the world. They, it's best not to get involved. So a lot of the fishermen they've quietly taken their boats out. The people who were around docking and loading they've decided to take a a cigarette break or go for a piss. You know. So yeah, it's quiet once again on the dock, apart from, you know, the, the sort of s slight spurting sound you can still hear from yeah. the body. Just the rigor mortis. And I um, tuck my, uh, my beard to one side, yep. get on the rails and just slide down. Give me an acrobatic um, check. Okay. <laughs> God, this goes wrong. No idea. What have I got there? That's a six. Ooh, What's your acrobatic? That sound good. Two. Okay, you hit the bottom of the <coughs> stairs and twist your ankle, take you oh, down. Two damage. Two damage. <sighs> I'm just clapping and just like pointing at Sticky Mickey covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> like, mate, you've got a lot to sing about now, sunshine. That is, it, a, that is messed up. It's all inspiration. I thought when I shot the guy, first of all, that was like pretty badass. But you, mate, with the two sticks right in the collarbone, that's messed up. To be honest with you, now the adrenaline's wearing off, I'm a little bit, you know, shaking. Oh, well, still got I think a little I'm going, bit. In, I'm going into shock. No, 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 settle down, oh, settle oh, down. Calm down, calm down. Hang on, calm down. Down. I don't make this better. You got better. a paper bag. Hang What's on. What's up? I'm going to clean him up. Wait, oh, watch this, press. watch this, watch this. Oh! oh do I have to roll for that? What's he doing? Press the digitation. No, yeah, press the digitation. Yeah, no, no, you're fine. Yeah, you I'm going to clean him up. Blood away! Ah! 
Oh, so he lovely. starts doing the swirling motion with his hand, and all the filth and blood <laughs> and sweat just starts evaporating away off of you. Are you going to store that? We could donate it. Oh, oh he's got the wiper out. <laughs> he's just got a squeegee. <laughs> <laughs> All good. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Um, so you, you notice around the body left on the deck, around his neck, there's a small key on a string. Which body is this? The, the body beneath the one you. That you the only one left on the deck. He's very Actually, deflated. No, there is one still on the main as well. Yeah. All the blood's gone. He's just like a. De uh, he's like a, he's a, deflated now. He's, he's like an empty balloon. suit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this, boys. The key. Yeah. Well, if only something bloody plugged the hole with clay. Ah, oh, yeah, you're right. Well, let's can try we, it anyway. Can we use one of my drumsticks to poke all the clay out of the yeah. hole before oh, well, we... Well, you've got a fire boy over here. You might oh, be able to melt the clay out. Well, I, can, I can warm things. Do we okay, warm something yeah, up? just warm it up and melt well, it out. Give me a little also, warm. Uh, Sticky Mickey. Yeah. You got the kill. Yeah. You've got to push your body over the dick. Sorry, son. Have I? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's the rules of the road. Yeah. The, the road or the sea? The sea. The rules of the sea. You've got you to gotta be the one to get rid of the body. I don't know if I can go back and look at him. Be honest. Wow, it's I one saw of these. the I saw the life just go out of his eyes. It was like a light turning yeah, off. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice. Your eyes feeling. were covered in God, It was blood, good actually. Fair, now, like, now you say that. Yeah, don't, don't let it go too quickly. Oh. Revel in it a little bit. All right. It's nice. While you oh, roll that body, is. you could just quickly roll that body <laughs> off. Right. Oh, oh, me and Tita. Well, I've got this other guy to deal with as well. He's, he's covered mm. in acid. Oh, God, look at his face. Yeah, no, it's barely there. God, it's like you can see the real shape of his jaw. It's a frozen scream. Yeah. But there's barely anything yeah. there. Yeah. Awful. Yeah, I'll but yeah you'll, be oh, you'll be rolling that one. You'll be rolling that one. I'll give him a little kick. Yeah. <sighs> so we roll the bodies off the shit. Uh, I'll toss them off. Okay. Uh, also, you're going to have to swap the deck of all this blood, mate. Careful, it's slippery at the moment. Yeah, it's, it's I reckon we let it dry, it'll, it'll show, you know, future oh, people. On. It's not our ship. <laughs> He's got a screw. You begin to use prestidigitation to clean the ship. However, you can only do one cubic feet every six seconds. This is quite a large ship. You can keep going, but it might take you some time. I'm going to do one cubic feet and then give up. Uh. I'm spent. Just leave the stain there. It's just it'll, a, it'll a worn off a future cube. Cube. Like a perfectly clean <laughs> cube. <laughs> cube square. Like everything in it, the wood. If you, if you chip away the wood, you'd find the wood square. in the middle as well is, is clean, yeah. even though you know it's been sealed anyway. Yeah. But yeah, you stop there. You kick the body over. Lovely. There's still one body back <coughs> at the ca near the captain's uh, cabin. The one that fell uh, is to the acid face. Well, that's why I just oh, he's yeah. just starting oh, to roll that one. I started to roll it. I started okay. kicking, but then my ankle hurt. Is there anything ah. on that body? Just uh, before you oh. push it over side. I'll have a rummage. What's on this body? You find another key, equally around the neck of the pirate. But is it the same? I put them up against They're each other. They're different keys. Different oh. keys. Well, let's check all the doors then, I guess. Let's have a little bonus. Hook. The one you got off of the body that Craig killed was yeah. a smaller key. Uh, oh. Looks like it might be a chest of uh, some kind, maybe. Maybe or a hatch access or something okay, along those it's lines. It's not a door key. The Craig. other one is quite clearly um, sort of a very ornate captain's key. Well, if you could, you know, get rid of the clay, stuff yeah. it in. Let me just warm this hole. Mmm, lovely. I love warming holes. So and you're it's all melting away. Look, coming out. He's it's all loosening out. the clay. Oh. Like, all right, give me a um, give me an Arcana check. Why is it? Oh, one. oh, it's a one. You melt the lock. Oh, hey guys. Christ. What happened? I got too hot. Things got too hot. Well, now the lock to, started so melting together. Is, yeah, the, the key and the lock are like sort of stuck in each other now. I, I get out my, I got a hammer yep. for like pitons. Yep. Uh, give me that key. Actually, no, I get a piton out. Okay. And I pit on the window next to the door. Okay, yeah, the, the window goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish and you then did I this. start climbing through. In the the window's too small to climb through, but you can oh. reach your arm in and oh, try and get the back lock. of the lock. Okay, yeah. I make sure I put some fabric over the shards nice of glass. Nice to cover your arms, yeah. And then, I'll do this all the time. And then unlock it from the other side. Yep, if you where was click. this the first out? Huh? Come on. I honestly want to show off my skills uh, <laughs> making a lock pick. <laughs> Come on. And also, uh, this is not our ship. We shouldn't I know, be breaking it. Still. Can you uh, do that fancy stuff on this window? Or no? <laughs> the bits of glass and wood that were the window look a bit cleaner. <laughs> ah, let down. Don't anyway, scope. Here's the door. Door so, swings open. We're going to have to fix that up before we give it back to the owner. Inside, <laughs> you, find, you see the cat. There's Leona. There's a, <laughs> there's a large table. Um, with uh, one seat behind to the side, there are a couple of cupboards. There's a map table. Um, there's a few other bits. It's there's quite, a spyglass. Quite cushy, actually. And, oh, and then nice. there's a, uh, a three-pointed captain's hat laying on the desk in front of a very cushy-looking uh, leather chair. This is chair. a tricorn hat. Tricorn. Yeah. Well, you know what, son? 
You put that hat on. You deserve, <laughs> you deserve right. it. Captain's You're the orders. captain, aren't you? Yeah, go swap that bloody blood. As you put the hat on, in front of you, it springs to life a ghostly crew. Okay, oh. so, so, um, they're... What the hell? So <laughs> the, the, the ship, uh, its crew, is, uh, there are skeletons, there are half-formed sailors, there are people that are just clothes and no bodies. I take the hat off. They're, they disappear. <laughs> Fuck that. What the hell was that? That was messed up. <laughs> Did you do see it? Do we, do we all see it? I put it yeah. back on. We all saw it. Whoa! And once they're... again, they form. We all saw it. Instant, they disappear Jesus. again. On, they appear, they disappear. Can I have a go? From the coast, people see uh, a crew. Like, poof. Whoa! <laughs> there's, there's a slight ethereal whitish, greenish, bluish glow to each What happens of if I do it? Does something yeah, else appear? Yeah. Like, is it gonna fit? Same crew appears. Oh, oh that is oh, amazing. That is weird. All right. All right, hold on. How's that working? Just, just get you your weapons ready, wireless. just in case. Leaving it on. I'm All gonna right. put it on. Okay. Hello, Captain here. You step out through the front door of the captain's cabin. Yeah. Uh, the crew don't seem to pay much attention to you. They're still doing crew things, like some of them are adjusting sails, some of them are scrubbing the deck, Oi. some of them are doing ropes. Do you remember that before you left, uh, when you picked up the contract initially, oh, they nickel. gave you a small scroll? Oh, oh yeah, I know you guys the one. remember that that small scroll? Yeah, I remember the one. On it was the command that the owner, Mikkel Salgo, told you to use once you get on the ship. You've got delicate fingers, Titus. And you, you can do the read. honors. Titus. Sorry, Titus. It's, that was it's my mother's not, name. Lost Titus was my mother's name. <laughs> right, what does it say? Back to port! Nothing happens. Give that to me. You weren't saying it right. Back to port! Aye, aye, Captain! The crowd, the, 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 the crew spring to action. A few of them jump off of um, the, the, the side of the boat onto the deck, start pulling up the ropes and everything like that. Um, and uh, they start to get the ship ready to move. Uh, the tide's in a great position. Yeah, boys! I was so expecting you guys Jesus. mostly to be pulling those I was never going to do that. No, I was a bit worried how we were going to do it. An ethereal, spectral looking um, tiefling uh, walks up to you. He's in a long old this coat a of a style creature, you don't, understand, don't recognize. Um, and and he's, he's got sort of a smaller cat than yours. He takes it off and says, Ah, oh, Captain, back first support. Mate. We'll be ready to leave. I'm your first mate, yeah. Yeah, what's your uh, name? Dinky Doinkers. Dinky, Dinky Doinkers? Dinky Never Doinkers. Heard of such a a pleasure. Amazing name. That's the best name. Dinky yeah. Doinkers. I'm best ethereal first mate in the, all the thousand teeth. Right, yeah. I'm uh, just getting your crew ready in order. We should be ready to set sail in about 15 minutes. Uh, transit back to the Gold Tooth Isle. Should take no more than about six hours with good wind. I'll get to it. Aye, aye. Puts his hat back on, walks back and starts ordering the, hey, the hey, ethereal uh, crew around. Dinky. Yeah? Could you get the swab? On that blood over there. Oh, I can do so. Yes, no problem. And then he um, he, he he gets a little whistle out. It's like, <whistles> and then out from underneath one of the, the hatch, the previously locked hatch, in fact, comes six children, but they're like dead children. Which doesn't that's make really it messed better. up. <laughs> it yeah. makes it worse. Um, <laughs> that's really bad. But they're, they're, they're like spectral like kids. So, so like they 12, when they're young. thirteen. Yeah, they, they they like they're all in their long coats as well, a bit like Dinky Doinkers, and they come up with like spectral mops, and they're all like Ooh, this is a bit questionable. All working and stuff, and yeah. Uh, I'm um, not too sure about. I'm not too comfortable with this, but they are doing the work for us. You're not comfortable with this. We just kill people. Yeah, but they're chill. Like, I under, know. Yeah, but they're I know. they're but probably like, older than children by now. Oh yeah. You see, they're having fun. They're like splashing dead? around in the blood and oh, stuff. Oh, that's <laughs> It's like, like they're enjoying Wiping themselves. Yeah. It's like they? a snow day, oh, whatever that's, that's that could fun, be. Isn't it? They're doing the blood angel. <laughs> yeah. No. Boys, can we it's have a blood quick, angel? Uh, oh, let's take quick, a picture. Can we have a quick meeting now? Yeah, let's yeah, have a picture. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah, weird. Yeah. What's up? Sword? Uh, I'll close the door. Captain. Mm -hmm. Captain Sword. Now I propose something, boys. This is quite radical thinking. Right. But we've just been through a lot together. Wow. Yeah. And we've just claimed a ship. Arguably not ours. Well, I know we've got to give it back to Mikkel Salgo, but we've literally got a ship with a crew that's undead, that's at our beck and call. Yeah. Right. This is a pretty good deal. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Go. Say it on one, two, three. Go Take on it. tour. No, no not no. on tour. Why oh. is it going to go on tour? Not on tour. No, no, I'm not a musician at all. Oh, we sorry. steal the ship for ourselves. Yeah. Oh. I think that's a good idea. Sail the seas, go on I'll adventures. Honest, I we we'll should always do that. We just never go back to Gold no. Tooth Isle. So we become pirates. Yeah. Of, of sorts. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Well, there's plenty of islands on the Thousand Teeth. We mm. just go to a different one and get some more jobs. 
Maybe repaint it so it's not so obvious. We need to kill more people. Yeah. So you got a taste for it, didn't you? I got a little bit of a, well, I got a lot really of a taste fun. for it. Yeah. Mm. All right. All right. I, I, I can, uh, I'll entertain this idea. We are nice. en entering the criminal world, I will say. Yeah. Oh. It comes with certain risks. Yeah. The reward. Yeah, well, we're already in it now. So yeah. we started. You and killed I think someone we with sticks. We're going to prison either yeah, way. If we ever, someone you know. get covered in acid. You, you and they destroyed died. them. That yeah, was horrific. That was How was that going from underwater? Land? It was, no, it was really good. I've not done it before. I've yeah. seen it happen. Yeah. But now I was the one responsible. I want to do it again. You never forget your first. Never forget your first. I'll never yeah. forget that one. <laughs> All right, boys. Let's set sail. Let's go. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing no. with the helmet at all. Woo! <laughs> 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 so, um, it just loosely spins. <laughs> you still got about 15 minutes till the ship's ready to sail. Um, the hatch at the front of the ship is now open. If you'd like to have a look down there, I, 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 I perhaps steer you that way. Um, but yeah, the, the ship's getting ready to go. Uh, they're currently following your order to uh, back to port, which is to them the gold tooth isle. This is where their, uh, their their base of operations was. Mm -hmm. What's been given to you has been a magical command by the once well, by the true owner, Mikkel Mikkel Salgo, um, which is something he would say to his crew to get them to come back to the gold tooth isle. Uh, However, if you'd like to try and not go back to the gold tooth isle, that's something that we can look to break at. Break that. But for, yeah, exactly. You can think about how to how to break the command at the moment. Mm. Whilst the first mate Dinky Doinkers will talk to you and interact with you, the rest of the crew feels very detached from uh, reality. They're almost, you know, they don't see you necessarily. They're they're in their own world. They think they're just sailing a ship and that everything's great, you know. Um, so bear that in mind. Uh, but yeah, would you like to look in the hatch? Hey guys, I've just been to the front of the ship. Yeah. Yeah. You went back to the scene of the crime, didn't you? Oh, well, you wanted to relive it. Oh, yeah. The uh, hatch is open. Okay. Oh, yeah, what's in it? I don't know. I haven't been down there. Do you think we should? Have a little peek. Yeah, yeah, shit now, those it. children came out from down there, didn't they? Well, yeah. yeah well, so, so you walked. There up might the, be other. You walked up to look at it, opened, and walked, came back here. Why didn't you just look inside? Yeah, I'm too scared. Let's go. Let's all go then. Let's go. Let's go have a look. Let's have a little peek. Yeah. Let's have a little peek. So as you look down, I presume you climb down the ladder. There's a a foldable wooden ladder that takes you about 20 feet down in this hatch. It's a deep hole, and as you go down, you find yourself at the bottom of this cavernous cargo hold. Inside it, um, it's largely empty. It's mainly wood. There's shelves and things on the walls. Uh, at the front of the ship, there's six hanging um, hammocks for people to sleep with uh, boxes underneath them. They don't look like they've been used much. It looks like uh, there might be a few old possessions from the, uh, the three people you just killed. Um, they, they've been storing a little bit there, but nothing of particular import. At the back of the ship is what looks like a large gated room. So uh, they've erected large sort of security um, gates and fences and things like that um, for putting more valuable cargo. So you can see in there there's a few chests and things like that in there that look like might be warrant inspecting. Um, halfway down the ship, before you get to that sort of um, fenced off bit, there's um, a, a sort of very strange black gate kind of thing. It looks a bit like a tall standing mirror, but the surface of the glass is, is dark and swirling. Um, it looks as though it's just glass, but instead of reflecting anything out, there's just a black swirling nothingness. Vanta on, black. On, on that. Very Vanta black. Oh, like. okay. Um, but that's about it. Apart from that, the center of the cargo hold's quite empty. You've got a few chests in the locked bit down at the end, and you've got a few hammocks this end with a sort of bits of storage for you. If we can convince this crew to work with us instead of uh, yeah. old Mickle, Look at this, we've got all this stuff to sell. Oh, what do you think Dinkle Doingus is going to say about that, though? He what? seemed pretty serious about his job. Oh, I'm the captain, though. I know, yeah, but he, he seemed, seemed to, like he, knew he, seemed what, he knows really what he's doing. Like he, the rest of the crew don't yeah. seem to pay much no. mind, but... Can we pay him off? Uh, well, he's a ghost, it would just go... Can we eat any of them? No, they're ghosts. We haven't Have eaten, look, we just killed some see people. see inside the locked grates what looks like uh, a few bags of provisions. There's sacks oh, nice. of potatoes, some grain, some dried fruits. But Maybe start there. Water. Hey, look, I'm going to eat some of these dried fruits while you d discover whatever yeah. that thing in the corner is. Look at that. What? Oh, you can't eat them yet. They're inside the locked area. So if you oh, want the fruit and drinks, you've got to oh. go and open up the locked area. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Let's go inside. <laughs> that little. You, maybe you should try that little key, the other key you got off of somebody. What about that other key that we got one. off somebody? Yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might fit in this tiny lock. It does. Look, Look at that. It you managed to open this lock. No problems. Oh no rolls. You didn't snap it off or anything. The Help heavy yourself. iron door swings open, and inside you find a wealth several of chests. Uh, 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 they don't seem to be locked, they just seem to be clasped shut. A few sacks of things. What looks like a, a sort of big case of maps as well. Oh, um, nice. So ha have a look, see, see what you find. 
What do you want to look at first? Have a little poke through. You want to look at a chest? Do you want to open a chest? I'll open a I'm chest. Gonna, I'm going to grab some fruit, I see. All right, you can start eating you the fruit. Start eating eat some pure grain. Save some for the rest of us. It's delicious. You regain mm. the two hit points mm. you lost. Oh, really? nice. Mm. Got two hit points. I gained health by eating. Lovely. You should join me. I, I'm not hungry. Okay. I can't eat after what I've seen. Oh. Trot, you pick up a small chest, no bigger than your head. Right. Uh, there's a couple of clasps that looks like it was a combination lock, but the combination has been lined up. You know that the combination oh, for this nice. chest is uh, squid, squid, squid. Okay, so there's squid. like... Oh. Squid, squid. Remember that? Squid, squid, squid. Uh, that, it, it, there's a three, it's like a roller combination. And what I'll, I do is I get each face. the long part of my index finger mm -hmm. and I push it up against the squid. Yeah. And then I slam my hand so it makes an imprint of squid, squid, squid yeah. on here. You've got squid, like squid, squid on your finger. You'll always remember that now. I'll never yeah. forget that. Nice! Got it there. You want me to just write it down? Well, I don't have any paper, he does. I scroll. do, I would, I would have offered it. I, the small chest better. clicks open. Yeah. Inside, you find a tiny eye patch made of what seems like glittering chain mail. Oh boy, look at that. Wow. Look at that bling. Now, you know this is made of a special form of enchanted chain mail that cannot be pierced by any mundane means. This is a special form of enchanted chain mail that cannot be penetrated by any means. By mundane means. By Magical, mundane you're not means. sure, but things like bullets, knives, spears, anything like that. Nothing's going through. No, I'm really on the scarred eye. We decide nice. to test it. I get out my sharp oh, yeah. drumstick. Whoa, 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 whoa. We'll test it. Is it magical? It, it can take anything. Go for it. Go on then. I brace my head. Okay, so you hold that eye patch tall. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. On three. Three, two, and now I just go Roll on two. Hit. I don't. I hope you value your, your other eye. 19. 19. Oh, thank God. You hit the mark, and yes, the blade <laughs> stops. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, if through. you'd missed them, you would have been stabbing him in the cheek. So you go right on the uh, eye patch. Yeah, yeah. So you, you hit the eye patch. Thankfully, you were holding it tight as well, yeah. because whilst it stops piercing, it doesn't just stop all mass. Yeah, um, I, I braced for it. Yeah, yeah. So you brace for it. You oh, take God. it. Just, just a splinter, my, uh, like a jousting stick. Is that yeah, what so the end of your sharpened, uh, one of your sharpened drumsticks just... <laughs> Like you say, just like a jousting pole, just go, Lance goes uh, and just splits into a load of pieces. Oh. Whoa! Hey! Oh. 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 Yeah, it's all good, look! That's really Whoa. good. Wow. And it's really scarred, horrible, mangled eye. Yeah. Jesus, do I do that? Ross, whilst this is happening and these two are doing this, you're sort of absently minded eating fruit and things. You nice, open, a, you nice open hit, one bro. box, you open a box. Inside it, you find a frog. <laughs> Have you got the frog picture? So initially, you're greeted by a frog. It's a living frog. You can't eat it. Well, you can try and eat it. As you go to try to eat it, it opens its mouth. Inside its mouth, it has a tongue made of like a thousand tiny little, um, let's call them chromatophores. So the tongue itself is covered in undulating, color-changing little blobs and they begin to swirl and change and its mouth becomes wider and wider and wider as you become entranced by this pattern on this frog's <laughs> tongue. Okay? Um, give me a constitution roll. Ooh, 13. 13. Uh, Titus is charmed, uh, enti well, entranced by this frog. You are essentially paralyzed by it. You, you, you stand stock still as you, you, your consciousness falls further and further into the patterns on this frog's tongue. I've just been smashed in the face yeah, with yeah. this. Yeah, you guys are I, commenting I turn on. around to be like, Titus, look at this, mate. Honestly, he just smashed me in the eye with this. Nothing, Titus, nothing, what the hell? Nothing. Titus! What is up with him? You notice the frog in his hand. You don't, How you big is the mouth? The, fro oh, the mouth a, of the frog's about this just big. Just a regular... It's, quite, no, it's a large frog and the mouth is massive. The mouth huge. is about the size of a human's face. Um, but you're not looking directly at the tongue. You're no. looking at it from side on. You can see something strange is happening here. Uh, what happens if I go behind his shoulder and look at the frog as well? Try it. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. <laughs> it's too late. Yeah. 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 What is that? Yeah. Roll a constitution check. Yeah. What are you doing this? I rolled a plus two. Six. Eight. You're paralyzed by the frog as well. The patterns and oh, undulations yeah. on the frog's tail, the <laughs> tongue, are, are entrancing you. Oh, you, yeah. you. You think you see creation, you think you see your birth, you think you see so much in the swirling um, beauty of the tongue. Boys? Boys, what the? So you look over and see both of them just staring straight into the mouth what of the What are you boys looking at? Let's have a look. <laughs> Do you want to have a look at it? <laughs> you don't want to have a look at it. I'm tempted to have a look. Obviously. What are you so entranced by? Okay, have a look at it. Roll <laughs> a constitution saving throw. What is it? We're also going to be stuck staring at this thing. 15. 
That's the end of the You're game. You're so lucky. <laughs> It starts to draw you in. Oh yeah, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> it is nice. The, the, the oh, patterns on the tongues. Such a brutal buzz. You, you feel your vision just sucked in. Everything else begins to fade as you don't notice Whoa. anything. Um, but as you start to get sucked in, bump, the, the, the top of the chest that the little frog was in is closed shut. You snap out of it. Whoa. Resting on the top of the chest oh. is a, an ethereal spectral hand of Dinky Doinkers. Oh, you don't want to be poking around down here now, sir. There's a few dangerous things. And he puts, he, he closes the, the, the hatch on it and puts, puts the frog thing down. What we got heck? one of those off of an island we were at a few months ago. Weird, isn't it? What is it? Yeah. We don't know. It's some sort of strange toad or frog that we found on uh, one of our adventures. Christ. I forgot it was down here, to be honest. My mate's still alive. It must be eating the bugs on the ship. It did things yeah. to me. Did it? Did it do things to you? It did a lot of things to me, yeah. I started to see Mainly stuff. beautiful things. But it was so quick, it, it just, Dinky closed it before I, I got I don't think look. I'll ever be happy again. Dinky Doinkers oh, looks around. Wow. I... Brings a new, uh, uh, sort of a bundle of maps. M mainly there's one big map with a few other little scraps and things like that. He goes, we're going to be leaving in about five minutes. I thought you might want this map. The, 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 the magical maps enchanted to show you most of the known and some of the suspected islands in the area of the Thousand Teeth. You can zoom in and out as close or as far as you like. You can see all of the islands if you want, but there's not much you can do with that information. Dinky, you're a great first mate. We need to tell Doinkers uh, our plan. Dinky? Yes? Just a quickie. I'm yeah. not for that kind of thing, I'm spectral. Just a quickie. Yeah, of course. No, I'll no. watch. No, I don't mean sexually. Oh, that's good. There's usually a lot of sexual in... stuff on the ship. It's oh. a lonely place. Yeah, good to know. Place. That's good uh, to know. Where is that? I was actually buggered to death. Where is that, is that happening Where's here? Where is all that stuff? <laughs> where is all that happening? Yeah. Mikkel Salgo is a good man who only seeks adventure. Yeah. That's why our crew yeah, chooses to join him. That. About that guy. He trained that well. Yes. He had a heart attack and died. Uh, what? Yeah. Uh, that can't be. I still feel his I'm magical show, pull in the ether. I'm going to show a picture of him dead. Like a minor illusion. Using minor illusion. Using a minor illusion. Look, I've got a picture. That's a picture, but you could have made that picture up. You don't know. No, I so, don't. So this picture is realistic. The, the thing realistic. on the paper that I said, and you, you're now going back, right? Back to port, yes. Do you that's have what, to go back to him? Well, yes, that's what Mikkel used to say to us. We follow his magical commands. He, back to port meant the, 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 the weeks or months adventuring was over and we were returning to the Gold Tooth Isle. Yeah, and what was that one that broke it that made sure you don't follow his commands anymore again? Yeah. What was it again? We always forget them. I always forget that one. You know, I can't remember either. Oh. Ah. Uh, Wait, is it written down anywhere? Is it maybe on the Try, go try a persuasion check. One of you can try a persuasion check. <laughs> Persuade this little guy, come on. I've got a minus one because my. Do we pay him? That's the way uh, I deal with things. Three. <laughs> where I'm from. I got a three. No, no, no. There's, there's a set of magical commands that the Mickle would use, and we, we don't know any of them. We, we, we just like to go on adventures with him. He's, he, he took us from darkness and gave us a purpose again, and. I'd very much like to see him. God, I almost fell asleep then, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. God, I hate soft stories, don't you? Yeah. Just go on I almost want to look at the frog again. Yeah. Wait, give it that. Give it that frog. It's like taking a sleeping pill for travel. <laughs> you know, like, like, we'll, we'll man the ship, there's no problem. Just look at the on, frog man. for a few hours. Can you wake us up when you get there? <laughs> I've done it in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that if you want. I don't think I've been at peace before. <laughs> like that. I want to go back. <laughs> you want to see the frog again? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll see you in six hours. You just open up the... <laughs> Does this count as a long rest? <laughs> I don't know. Does this count as a long rest? It could. <laughs> Right. Um, cheers. Oh, okay, well, no dinky. problem. Dinky. If you meet me upstairs in ten minutes, we're ready to depart. Brilliant. I mean, just go ahead. You, That's annoying. Isn't it? what, bad. Go ahead. Mm. You want us to depart, or go ahead and no, we'll see carry on with your orders and whatnot. Well, we're going to depart if you want us to. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna take six so hours. depart yeah. in five minutes, right? Oh. Excellent. And he just disappears. Okay. And appears upstairs, and you can just hear. Evanka, lower the sails. Make way for Gold Tooth Isle. Take the hat off. Take the hat off right now. You feel right. the ship start to move <laughs> and then sort of slow down again. Well, boys, we're going to have to man the ship ourselves. <laughs> no, but I, th I know what we can do. You Stay. keep that hat on for half the journey. Take it off halfway through. We'll find a different path. Okay. We'll take control of that time point. to build Get up a lot of speed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've got three hours to learn what they're doing and figure yeah. out the plan. Yeah. And then, I don't know, I can levitate some stuff. I can make things move and warm and cool. All right. And we can make it, we can make it ourselves. But we need to get a certain period. Let's use them for where we can. Majority of the journey. Most of the journey. It's good. It's good. Then the hat good comes idea. off. It's all ours. All right. We're all okay. okay with that. I'm okay. okay with that. Kosher. I put the hat back on. All right. 
Oh, make sail! I don't know what happened there, guys! You hear from upstairs. <laughs> and then the ship starts moving. I mean, the Wait, ship so when that you can't, comes you off, do they just... What happens to them? Do they just black out? Are they like, aware that they're being dismissed? Well... I like to think they don't unless you tell them they're being dismissed. <laughs> you know, <laughs> as in, like, you're being dismissed, and then... Because, like, if, if you do take... they the, lose that time? That's what I mean. Like, yeah, do, they don't to exist they, for to that them, time. Did any, did any time tra- asleep? Like, travel the for situation. them? Or, like, did they, are they aware that they went somewhere? If you really want to know, you're going to have to do some more investigation into the ship and more investigation no, into yeah. studying yeah. the yeah. 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 You can't just know all yeah. of these things about how magical ethereal right. crews work. All right. but from all right. what I heard, like muffled, they just carried on as if there was no pause in between. No, but he did notice happened. that there was a pause because he said, I don't know what happened there. Well, because they started to make sail and the, sh- the sails had come down. So obviously once you pull the anchor up, take the ropes up and the, and the crew has rigged a ship to sail, it starts to move forward. Then the crew disappeared so it's essentially just drifting on yeah. cruise control so at that they, point. R- they jump forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then they're like, oh, oh, oh the ship's going. Really no, we quick. could trick these guys. We're going to mess with these guys <laughs> the whole way. Yeah. Just messing with look, the ethereal look, crew. guys. Daylight. <laughs> 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 that is a long running gag. That, you don't know how long that took the set up. You think we're gods. Not only can we control when they exist and when we don't, we can also change day to night. We had to wait here 12 hours for this <laughs> big gag. Big gag. Just to see the look on their faces. Just to see we what, should have started just what before Doinkers sunset, but we did it in the midday. Uh, we had you good, Doinkers. Well, it's 3 a.m. now and it's dark. It's totally but, dark. Yeah. Uh, the sun will be coming up over the horizon in an hour or two, very early. Um, and uh, the ship makes its way um, away from the port at Dockers Bay. Had about six hours, right, of journey? Six hours of journey from here to the Gold Tooth Isle with good wind. Dinkers. Yes? Dinky Doinker. That's my name. Did you he wake me up? <laughs> Are you still down in the cargo hold? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes? Could I be woken up five hours into the journey, please? Aye, Captain. I like to be awake for the final hour. What a trust. I tip my hat to you. <laughs> <laughs> Please, don't worry about doing that. In and out. Okay. Uh, Quite painful. <laughs> Are you... Oh, he's aware. about that. What it. if every time you did it, it was like, I didn't it's not turning one off, it's like killing him. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, every time I die, I'm reborn. <laughs> oh, it's a pleasure to exist again, sir. I have to relearn a lot of things. Yeah, well, don't do it again. All right. Thanks. I won't. <laughs> okay. Or I might, depending on what you... I'm going to put an neck strap on so it doesn't happen again. How about that? Oh, I've never been around that long before. A whole five hours. Lovely. All right, let's put one on then. Oh, <laughs> I let my arm to reach for a shelf and knock it off his head. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Awkward. Butterfingers. I'm guessing like it's just drifting around the port. <laughs> they haven't actually managed to get away. Yeah, you're uh, heading towards the opening. If you look at the, okay. the bay, oh, nice. okay. you're heading towards the opening now. Um, and there's only a few things. It's a fairly easy sail. Um, yeah. You'll be heading out of there, Lovely. and then you'll be heading southwest towards the Gold Tooth Isle. Uh, right. This is quite a way out to the sort of, um, if you imagine, look at the camera here. So you've got the land mass of the Gold Tooth Isle here, and if you've got the great ocean out here, and the, the continent's very, very weak sail in the distance. Um, sort of this one sort of out. It's a bit like Bermuda, it's a little bit out in the ocean quite a bit. So you're having to go through open ocean from, from Dockers Bay down to the Gold Tooth Isle, or at least that's where you're heading at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, and that is where we will leave it for now. Right. Uh, okay. I hope you've enjoyed this start. I think it's gone all right. Yeah. Um, it is just the beginning. This is an episode zero. This is edited. Um, and we would have taken a few of the bits out, although I really do feel like it went really yeah. well. I don't think there's loads that yeah. we need to remove. I think it went really smoothly. Yeah. Uh, this is now going to be streamed on twitch.tv slash hatfilms. Hopefully once a week, we'll be doing a three hour stream of this where we will continue this adventure. Um, we'll see where they go next, uh, what happens with the ship, whether they make it to Gold Tooth Isle at all. I'm going to make a lot more maps just in case. Um, and uh, yeah, anything you guys want to say? Yeah, treat this yeah. like a prologue. Yeah. The actual episodes start next time, right? And if you prefer the edited YouTube format, that will come later. But if you want to keep up to date on the story itself week to week, by all means, go to Twitch and watch the whole stream in full, unedited. So exactly. see you there. Exactly, come and watch. This is going to be a, a starter adventure, like a Minds of Fandelver, a five to ten episode sort of situation, five to ten stream sort of situation, sorry, I sh- should say. Um, and we hope you enjoy it. Uh, let us know uh, who your favorite character is so far yeah. and what you'd do if your entire existence was tied to whether somebody was wearing a hat or not. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the next episode. See you then. Bye. 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 <laughs> 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 <laughs>